Are we good? Yes, we we're live. <clears throat> All right, we're live. Good morning. Hello, hello. Let me get through this. Best I can. I feel better, but uh, do I sound right? Am I too high, too low? You sound fine. Okay. Uh, what? You want me to turn down your headphones? How's that? How's that? How's that? It's fine. All right. Okay. All right. No, it's too low. Turn me up. Jesus Christ. Stupid as ever. Okay. <laughs> okay. How'd it go yesterday? Did you perform your service? I did. Uh, I did. Well, I was there. Willing. Do you think Kate Middleton's dead? Go around the room. Justin Trudeau. <laughs> no. <laughs> Coleman. Yeah, 100%. Steve from Gloucester. No. Mike. Yes. So do I. Yeah. Dead? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I hope not. I, I have nothing against Kate. Uh, she's not a friend or anything, but she's a listener. What would be the benefit of... Covering it up, though, I guess, is the question. Because he's gonna, they're gonna find out eventually. <sighs> Naive city population one. I know. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to learn. It's unbelievable. Aren't there rumors? I'm here fighting for my life. I got to deal with this kind of stuff. <laughs> Jesus, imagine. Oh. Just what a nice way to go through life. <laughs> fly down to Austin. Just fly <laughs> back. What's right? It's a perfectly reasonable. Suck down question. some almonds. Why? Why do they want her dead? <laughs> that's like yeah. that's in the trailer right there. You're the guy in the trail. You're that guy in the trail. Again? Yeah, it's that's your spoon guy. That's your role. That's your role. There you go. What was that? What was that? Uh, with the spoon with the popcorn. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Well, you might have been right about that. People one. Like I remember him from. Yeah. Tried that out. <laughs> you tried that out. Not a fan. No. Not, not in the slightest. Oh well. Did well you move- just, at the theater, you did it. No, I I just had it as a snack, like at night, and I was like, oh, I'll try it. Like with cereal, the spoon. you mean? Yeah. Not, okay. not my thing. With it's butter in it or no? Yeah, I like the buttery hands though. I like bet little, you do. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you do. I bet you do. I don't think she's. Well, I don't know. It's very. I find it very weird. I. I. I this is when I'm when I'm sick. Which I've been the last few days. I feel a little better. I'm sure I sound a little stuffed up still. I sound better than last week. Thank you, Mike. Uh, and I apologize <laughs> to the uh, listeners for that. I'll do the best I can this week. We're scheduled to be here all four days today, tomorrow with Mike. If he wants to come back, if he's busy, that's fine. All right. Uh, and Mike Mendansky. Thursday, Ooh. Mike Montante and Ryan Whitney. What a parent. What a parent. Wow. Uh, Whitney was excited about that. <laughs> really? And Friday, uh, the the man who helped birth this show, Steve Robinson, is supposed to schedule to be here. Who knows? He's been very flaky lately. So, <clears throat> but uh, when I'm sick, I, I, I get very, I was very into. I became very into this Kate Middleton thing. You I was get very into the the specific the royal family. <laughs> yeah, yeah I know, I know, I know. Yeah, it's very really weird. into it. I was in, I was on message boards. <laughs> no. Yeah, I tried That's to sign deep. up. Like they wouldn't let me in. One of them. I got a little annoyed. What did you find? <laughs> So what's your, what's I your found theory? Interesting thing. Hmm? What's, your, what's your theory? I don't know, life? Steve. That's but but like why? My theory is this: she's if, just Photoshop. If you're the royal family, but she'd been seen the months. She, what like what? She, she didn't she come out a couple days ago? No, she didn't. God, you sound like <laughs> Dynasty eighty seven right now on the message board. All right, it's unbelievable. Um, if I here's my deal: if you're the royal family, pay for this boondoggle, all this stuff. You got to tell us everything. We're paying for your. For your homes, for everything, you got to tell us where you are all the time. Yeah, and I got to know where she is. Sure. I Where's heard, Kate Middleton? I heard something that uh, there's rumors that one of the Rothschilds is uh, the father of William. I saw this the other day. I might be deep in into some. Oh, the other Rothschilds? Thing. Yeah. Who's that? Like the the family that owns all. Oh, the, the land, or yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. well. So what? They Stay killed woke? her? I don't know. Stay woke. Huh. Yeah, what would that have to do with it? Uh, who knows? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe she idiot. she knows too much. Well, there was something in the New York Post, wasn't there, about Kate She knows Middleton too much. And, yeah. yeah. Wasn't well, Kate she Middleton? would know everything, wouldn't she? I guess so. She but birthed like, a child. I assume she would have had sex with this guy. Yeah, that's okay. what I'm saying. All right, so, good. Yeah, but good. wasn't there something about Kate Middleton <clears throat> in the New York Post recently about photo cropping? And... So I'm talking about, Steve. Yes, yes. Thank you, <laughs> no, Steve. No, but, yes. but isn't that... Was there also something about her marrying somebody and, and <laughs> that guy's mother dying? No, yes. I she's the princess. I, I, I have to admit, I only saw the headline, so I wasn't sure what that was about. Yeah. So I wasn't... So it leads to believe... Or exactly I missed Steve, huh? <laughs> yeah, that was... <laughs> I, I haven't been here in a while, so I have yeah. to... Yeah, right, well, hang in there. Hang I'll in try. There. So I was, I was almost at my sickest... Let me see here. Uh, find this. So jury duty, Justin, go ahead. I apologize. Uh, yeah, so I, I showed up to the beautiful, it's actually a really nice courthouse in Fall River. Um, but mm. yeah, I, I was juror number 106 out of like one, 110. Ugh. So I got called last and I never even got to do like, the, I never got dismissed. They, like, they, they, they ended at four because the court was closing. What a system. It was a, uh, like what a fucking be, system. Just would be a great juror. Oh, no. I feel like. Um, like I walk in and there, he'd be like, the guy, the classic guy, where it's like there's one, you know, like one, twelve hundred men keeping. Yeah. Oh really? No, not, I think that'd be just the, oh, the one holdout. Yes. Yeah. I go in there and they start reading the charges, and I'm like, this fucker's guilty. 
Oh, like, really? Would, okay. Oh, the charges were just like, I think that he like, it was some. You recognize by anybody? Uh, no, I don't oh. think so. Oh, I don't, I don't, oh, God. The charges were what? The charges were like some gun charges in New Bedford. It was some gang Fathers, members. maybe. Yeah. Thing, but, uh, yeah he, he, he takes that very seriously. <laughs> no, 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 no more jokes with Justin. We call him jokeless Justin. <laughs> I'm sorry. I want to uh, get one last one. Yeah, yeah. Oh. It was, uh, it's only going to quadruple down now. <laughs> no, I think everyone will understand. <laughs> Goddamn pervert. What's that? What were you saying? It was, uh, it was brutal, though, because they... Like, Justin's very focused on this jury. Dude. Yeah, he is. I, you, yeah. I was asked about it. See? Uh, they were, yeah, thank they were you. Putting on movies beforehand, and we watched Bruce Almighty, which was fine. Oh, nice. And then they put on. Put on uh, what the, what the fucking country this is in America? People, <laughs> are, people are missing work to watch Bruce Almighty and in then the they courtroom. Put on fever pitch. I've never had to like, go. Oh. Do they do that commonly? I always like get out of it. Field trip on a bus? <laughs> I had a, I had a Minifan. I don't know. I had a Minifan contact for years. Who would, I would just call him. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, and he would just get me. Would just go for you? No, no, he worked within the system. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, do you have a fucking... I'm Kirk Kirk I think somebody would do that, though, I suspect. Sure, uh, well, you'd have to send Tim for someone that knows everything. Just someone, yeah. Yeah. Did yeah, Bruce Almighty get right. enormous laughs, or is everyone just kind of annoyed being there? People were people were laughing. It was, it was yeah, an well, It's a crowd. funny situation. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, but mm. Fever He's Pitch got. was rough. <laughs> fever Pitch, Jesus. Do they just play those every day? They, uh, the guy made a joke. He's like, I can I can quote these movies because I watch them every day. No, I guess you're my answer. That. That's a weird <clears throat> combo. VHS or, or DVD. DVD? DVD, yeah. I'm sorry. Every, yeah. Why is that a weird combo? Two romantic comedies? Oh, I don't know. Bruce it's Al fucking Bruce Almighty and Fever Pitch. But name yeah. two more random movies to show every Fever single Pitch day. and Schindler's List. I would say would be more... <laughs> two yeah. two PG-13 yeah. yeah. romantic comedies? How about that? You know, I, I don't, That's fair. We, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Two stupid movies with Jimmy Fallon and Jim Carrey. What the heck? <laughs> Do you know what they are? Yeah, Col seen... Coleman thinks one encompasses God and religion. Yes, right. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, it's it's very that. serious. Well, what do you think? It should be like court... Room movies to get yourself ready, like liar, liar, kind of, or something. Yeah. Like the verdict like, or something. Yeah, I feel like that would be counterproductive to their thing. They to want, what like, thing? They, want, they, want, like, they want people loose. No, they want like everyday people in there. They don't want people to be like, I will be the twelfth angry man. A few man. good men. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Huh. So you watch both of the, their entirety. Uh, I got called in halfway through Fever Pitch. Oh, that's good. Oh, you yeah. know how it ends. <laughs> it's a dreadful movie. Jesus. So I'm feeling sick on Saturday. Lousy. And Steve from Gloucester sent me a message on oh. Twitter at 9.30 a.m. Literally, I couldn't feel worse. <laughs> Hi, Kirk. I wanted to ask you in studio last week, but can I please switch networks? I would retire TCB to uh, be your network CEO. Think Jack Tunney from WWF. That spot is still open. <laughs> Menners gave, <laughs> gave his approval and is running the last TCP episode I promised him this morning. But you are my skip and my loyalty is to you. Your consideration is much appreciated. Half hour later. If CEO is not open, I will do TCP as usual. Whatever you think is best. So wow. There you go. Really negotiating with himself. <laughs> <laughs> the negotiation, yeah. right? <laughs> oh, God. So when's your first episode with us? This week. This week? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I usually so. do it more towards the weekend. Do whatever you want. I, okay. there's, no, there's no pressure for me. Uh, this is... This is in the seat. You can do whatever you want. I'm not gonna. Thank you. I'm not gonna berate you. I'm not gonna make it about myself. <laughs> this network is a haven for artists. So no They're, walking in eggshells anymore. Did you have that before? Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot. Oh, I, wow. I hear. Really? I, I actually hear a lot of that from yeah. people. And this is a home for artists. I'm not gonna get in the way. There's just a couple of basic rules. We know those rules. There's certain words you can't say. Sure. We have a partnership with DraftKings. We have a partnership with Rumble. We have to abide by some of those rules. Other than that, the floor is yours. Wow. You know that's the way it's. I'm worried about my show, but I'm not, I don't want to get in the way of people trying to create their own thing. That's big. You know, I'm not Piccolo Productions. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I am here to to grow the artist, not hinder the artist. It's very kind, and I understand everyone's been taking this all in stride. I think with the proper perspective, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. That's good Look, I'm, I, I happen to like Matters. I think he's a funny little guy, but he's not handling this well. But I understand that. Things are crumbling around him. And he has the, fake news. He has the inability to look <laughs> inward. I mean, shows are fleeing there. Yeah. What do they have left? I don't think they have anything left, right? They, got they the, have uh, McFuss Kirk Moore. Daddy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They have my guys at Mount Kirk Moore. Yeah. They have, uh, uh, who I reached out and said, listen, if things ever change, you're welcome to join me. That is a big piece that men has held on to, I think. Huge. Yeah. yeah. Oh, massive. Uh, and uh, who else? VD, right? Isn't yes, he... VD is doing a show with Menace, I think, on Thursday. Yeah, that'll last. I like Visual Escape. He's going to quit. Three. They hate each other. Well, after three weeks. That's it. And by the way, I can also just take the network away whenever I want. <laughs> That's the ultimate chess right. piece. <laughs> I said, damn, if you've got the, you know, he reached out to me. He's like, the real, the real, you said you had real guts if you and John from Scranton went off on your own. 
I was like, I am on my own. I built both these by myself <laughs> with my audience. Uh, yeah, but you really only, always had the cushion of manners yeah. to fall back. Yeah. Right. Manners are made too much about manners, the 40% about that and all that. So I just said, might have to change some things around here. Sure. And uh, listen, everyone who reached out to me was like, I don't like working with the guy. Everybody. Would you put yourself in that category, Steve? Yeah. Okay, so there oh, you go. Wow. Yeah. Everybody has said that. So I when Menor says nobody says that. to him. Like, yeah. off, when the red light's off, he's a good guy. But mm -hmm. when the red light's on, he's a whole different person. And yeah. that yeah. just happens. No, I never heard this. On, was, is this, you, you weren't allowed, to, you were being censored? You couldn't say this on your show? Well, not that you couldn't censor, but whatever you said got criticized after the fact. Like, well, that's what happened was on here, Mike too, the yeah. Yeah. Well, I know that, but he just... <laughs> Buckle up. Yeah. You you guys are funny about it. He was more like... He made it really about himself. Made yeah, it about which, himself. Is not, which, again, I would just say to him, good luck. Uh, he still got uh, the axe, right? Yes. Thank you, Joe. Oh, that's big. Right, yep. yep. <clears throat> I saw that she was going after the show on, on social media. I think her husband was, too, right? It was more me. It wasn't really the show. Oh, yeah. You, you, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, Dante? Yeah. Okay. yeah. He would be on the Mount Kirkmore episode. That I met him in Delaware, that Dante guy. I would just say the other three people in that Mount Kirkmar episode with Dante would be uh, Ryan Glassbeagle, Matt Carano, and Jack Coleman. No, I'm <laughs> that was, I, was so I, I, I don't want to say anything, but... Uh, Great media type. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to say, I mean, just... Guys. Political That's, analysts. Yes, just <laughs> men, you know? Yeah. Just guys. No, he seems like a nice guy. Uh, I met him in Delaware. Very nice guy. Good man, the fan. So I, I wish them nothing but the best. And as I said, the matters. I'm being magnanimous about this. If you want me to go on their network, I'm happy to go on the show. Uh, if you want me to promote something, reach out to us. We'll promote it. Like, no hard feelings. It's very sweet. But I want everyone to be happy trying to do this stuff for YouTube, which they're doing for free, which they're doing for the show, which I'm grateful for. So, and I'll be doing more stuff on the YouTube channel as well going forward. Once Portland happens and I'm, you know, feeling good. So, right. there you go. <clears throat> but boy, Justin was, oof. Oh, I was losing my shit. I mean, mm. these guys are just kind of fucking around. I mean. I don't know. The... Yeah. It, something's, I'm it's telling you, like something snapped in my head. Rude and truth. What was that? Okay, well, let's. I mean, it's not, but like, so yeah, something just snapped. <laughs> I gotta say, <laughs> snapped. Just, Justin seems very, oh, very touchy. No pun intended on yeah. that <laughs> issue, and I think his approach to it will, will really quell the, the the people who want to point that out. I'll just say, enjoy Portland, Justin. <laughs> enjoy Portland. Yeah, <laughs> was that? I said, yeah, sure. We'll, what do you mean? We'll see what. Uh, sure, I'll enjoy it. Well, don't go if you don't want to go. No, I'm, I'm going. What do you mean? What are you being a baby about? What's I'm going on? I'm being a baby. Y you are. What are you being so sensitive about? No, I'm not. I'm, well, yeah, I'm being sensitive because I don't like being called a pedophile. Okay, but I mean, you understand. Do I have to explain so. the. Do, I mean, do we need to do this? <laughs> yes. What? You, we do. Explain that. Explain it. Okay. You are sexually <laughs> attracted to children. <laughs> no, no, no. That, explain why it's like, why it's funny. <laughs> it's funny. Do we need to do that? Yes. We need to explain why things are funny? Yes. I, I can't. Okay. I can't. I guess you win. Just, I think just the innocence leaving a child is what's funny to me. <laughs> or entering. I'm in yeah. my molesting yeah. children era. I mean, the, 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 those guys are decent guys, no? Yeah, they're fine. Okay. Uh, like I, mean, I said, if you want to go nuclear, go nuclear. But we're not going to be doxing. There's no benefit in doxing these guys. Is no, there? I, just, I just freaked out. And I, okay. I didn't, I didn't but like I, But you threatened to. I, I said, if you want to, if, if, if we want to pull no punches, then we'll pull no punches. Right, but I'm just saying, there's no, they're not, they weren't going to, do they want to do what you said, what you thought they were going to do? Uh, no, not necessarily. No, they weren't going to do that. I thought they, they were just... doing a show called Justin Trudell Touches Kids on a channel that I appeared on and my face is on. What was, the name of the, what was the name of the show? Justin Trudell Touches Kids. Justin right. Huntley Trudell of Mansfield, oh, Massachusetts. Geez. Touches Oh, here kids. we go. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, Thank you. <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you acting like this? Kirk, it's just, it's just, I, I'm telling you, like it broke me. Like Friday. Why? They're two idiots. They're, they're Beanbag Ron is one of the guy's names. <laughs> the guy's McFuss Daddy. These are stupid people. <laughs> I, like, I like that for a moment, McFuss Daddy was the more regal. <laughs> he is. Oh, I yeah. Consider, I consider, oh, yeah. I absolutely consider McFuss Daddy like the, the head of that show. <laughs> one of the dumbest people I've ever met in my life. I like him, but a very dumb guy. I disagree. He's a big uh, Quincy fan. That shows oh, is that true? Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That changes everything. Are you okay, Justin? You don't yeah, seem fine. okay. No, I'm fine. Do you get yeah. the sense he's fine, Mike, or no? No, I, I was definitely like, I'm telling you, I lost my shit. Uh, Friday, I saw the Friday text, night. yeah. I saw the text, yeah. yeah. But uh, but no, I'm, I'm, I'm better. I'm fine. Okay. All right, okay. I would say it wouldn't... Seems like it, yeah. What's that? It's po posting Justin <laughs> Trudeau touches kids. That is, a, as much as I understand you don't like it, it is a joke from the show. It's also rooted, like, yeah. nobody, like, if you were actually doing that, we wouldn't say you you understand it wouldn't like, be advertised. you'd be in jail right. i'd make sure you were in prison yes, exactly. I understand, like, I just, the funny thing is you're, it was all born from this stupid thing that you because you, you i mean you do like these high school kids that, no no not I, like that but i'm saying so you work with, 
I'm saying the kids at the fucking thing, the fucking the hot dog place, like the shack, the oh, hot yeah. dog grill. Yes, <laughs> yes. None of them. J Rock. I, I know. I know. But, I, but that's why it's to me. Like nobody thinks it's real. I I understand that. But if something is out there and people see typing Justin Trudeau and they see Justin Trudeau touches kids, where people are talking We're about episode title of the day. I What's mean, that? It's just if someone types in Justin Trudeau and they see Justin Trudeau touches kids, where these people are seriously talking about me being a child, but they, but they weren't going to do that. Well, we don't. Know if that. they did, it wouldn't. We would make sure we also run both networks. You would pull the episode. Well, we would have had to listen to it. I mean, oh, there may yeah. be truth in that. <laughs> who am I, I, I'm fucking around. Yeah, I mean, just take it easy. Jesus. <sighs> yeah. So I'm, I'm good though. Yeah, it seems like it. Yeah. <laughs> Justin's got about two weeks left on the show. <laughs> <laughs> I think he'll leave in the show now. No. I don't. Well, I don't know. It's okay if you want to. You whatever. Fire me? No. Jesus Christ! <laughs> what is going on here, bitch? It's very sensitive today. That's what what very sensitive. Uh, what else is going? On? What else is going on? Uh, so I do actually have some of this uh, Kirkmore of Justin fuck ups. We can take a quick trip down memory lane. Uh, so they are. Are not we pleased, doing though. it just to spite them? This is Doctor Rock, we're doing? by the way. They they did it just to spite us. So for what, some reason Justin has his like fucking panties in a lot about us because we kicked him out of Jeopardy because he um went on the back end and watched the Warthog one. The Warthog didn't spoil it. He went on the back end and watched it just to spoil it, like without being asked for it or anything like okay, that. Okay, I'm out. I'm glad I, I, it warms my heart that McFuzz Daddy would clear the Warthog's good name. Like that, that is important. Yeah, I'm glad that's all out on the table. A Doctor Vodka guy is kind of a I, like he's the guy who said that he was lying on mental health or something, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah, he whole, seems like he seems like a zero. No, uh, he just he just start. He's just doing what he's trying to do. Yeah, that's right. But there's no no entertainment to it. Like the guys who suck, he sucks. Beanbag Ron stinks. I like McFuss. Beanbag Ron sucks. Uh, Dante stinks. Uh, who else am I forgetting? Well, I know Dante. That's Joe's uh, husband. Joe's husband. Joe's husband. Oh, oh, yeah. oh sorry. Yeah, you oh, boy, you were right. You were, you were a very forgettable guy. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, her hus- her beard husband <laughs> his husband his beard his her be- who I don't know his, yeah, yeah. Uh, who else am I forgetting who else stinks I mean everyone stinks yeah they really do they're like being cunty again it's like yeah. Jesus Christ I'm busting my ass here what do you guys want Jesus and I'll tell you what viewerless Dave who I like vision oh hmm? Never. forget it Jesus Justin I'm on my own <laughs> he every time I look at every time I see like somebody who really hates a show and I check on their account he follows all of them. It makes well, you wonder. He does do that, but does it makes he do you, that out of like he's trolling everyone? Kind makes of? you wonder. Makes you wonder. Yeah. But he's part of the, he's part of the enemy network, so maybe he's doing what he's got to do. You know, I don't know. Andrew Mezcal and Viewerless Dave are going to be the two last guys uh, swinging away. Well, that's what he said. Loyalty over royalty. That's his yeah. new thing. So. Wow. I spoke to him off the record. I will say, well, on the record, behind the scenes, and he told me to be fair because I said, hey, look, you're welcome here anytime. And he said, men, men is offered him equity. Wow. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's hard to turn that down. That's big. Yeah, I own the place, but I... I, I was going to say, I, I don't know how that would work monetarily. Shrewd. It's shrewd negotiating. I get yeah. better's credit. <laughs> <clears throat> I like those guys, but boy, they got the... Uh, visual Dave jokes around, but Metter's going to lighten up. Not only is Dr. Vodka guy doesn't seem like much of a humor guy either, no? Is there no playing with Menners? Because he, he no he no understands the show, I would think, right? Yeah, I wonder. He <laughs> thinks, know? But he's made it about himself. Would you say Justin or no? Uh, yeah, I mean... He, Named it the Manners. I know, but, but like, but just in general, like the he's just he thinks he's like a little star. Well, every mm-hmm. single show he goes on, he talks about himself. Even, even before right. this, he would talk about like how great of a job he's doing. And yeah, he talks about he's. Show. I looked up his cricket podcast. Has sixty one reviews. Like we're not talking about a big. I mean, nobody <laughs> listens to it, so it's like he's never done anything on his own. I went to his website, that Piccolo Productions, that was called, uh, and like the main. Well, I went to it. The first thing was Andy Mayo's podcast. Ooh. So I mean, like, so he's I got some that, big. Yeah, like, well, I don't know how he oh, makes yeah, a he's got Mayo. There we go. Yeah, I don't know how he makes a living. Mayo, that cunt, another loser. So, <clears throat> and then he, I don't know. He banned BA from that side of the network. That's okay, Steve. He's with us now. Exactly. So we'll see. But like I said, let me know. Send me the stuff. I'll promote it. If anything coming up, I'll promote it. So yeah. Anyway, what else? Uh, so it looks like Deadspin is dead. Yet they again. are. Yeah. yeah. It looks like they're really gone. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they'll still be Shed Deadspin. Dead. But now nobody works there, right? It's just all... It's going to be like new people brought in that are going to... For nothing, right? Like, I'm assuming Mm. it's going to be nothing, and they're going to have, like, very clickbaity. Yeah, but probably do better. Definitely. Honestly. I would think so, Mm -hmm. yeah. So I I generally don't root when people lose their jobs, but Julie the Carl being out of work is great. The guy couldn't be better. Good. Goodbye. See you later. Why up on the streets, you know? um, Justin was reading a couple of Julie's tweets earlier, and she was uh, bitching about uh, her grave being stomped on or whatever. She doesn't 
believe that anyone thinks she wouldn't be doing that if Barstool. Oh, I mean, really. <laughs> yeah. If Dave Portnoy was hauled off to, right. to jail tomorrow. Well, she deleted that. <laughs> oh, she did? She did when I was away. She would take shots. So sure. it's like I have, you know, it's like I have no... She's a bad... But they're bad people. She's a bad person. I kid Josh was a bad guy. Remember he took a shot at me when I was out and then deleted it? Josh? Yeah. Josh kid jo yeah. Oh, he's a deleter. He's a guy who deletes. It's kind of yeah. like, like Barstool Tate. He's a deleter. <laughs> Well, Josh, I, that Josh guy, that Barstool? guy, no, yeah, yeah. When I took a leave, uh, when I was sick, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was. He he tweeted something and deleted it. But did, how did that come? I, I missed something. That's because it, she did the same thing when oh, I was gone. Oh, oh, okay. I didn't know. He <laughs> she for dead spin now. At least she didn't delete it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She deleted it yesterday. Right. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This Ohio State guy is a bit of a deleter. Oh no! Really? Yeah, deleting Tay. That call him. Oh. When I like him, but he goes which way the commenters and the Twitter wind blows. Keep an eye on him. Okay. When Clemmer was in his thing, I haven't talked about Clemmer yet, really. No. When Clemmer, who did not get to 100 hours, he'll be here a week from tomorrow. He did not get to 100 hours. Did not. 97. Not arguable. Not even. Just not. Based debate. on his rules, though, didn't not he? Debate. Well, great, Mike. Based on his rules, you know, whatever. <laughs> fucking the Cheers podcast success. What do you want me to say? <laughs> I, would, I would argue for that as well. <laughs> I think he did his own Cheers podcast there, didn't he? <laughs> oh, well, he, sang he sang the, the song, at least. Yeah. I think that was a tribute. I like to think. I hope so. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you um, thought I was there. It was just so many hours, you know? It's possible. Maybe you were. You should have done, like, pretended you were there and done a Cheers podcast. That's when he said, I don't believe he did. He said he did this every day, the Carson Nicholson thing. He like, did, yeah. He, he's, he did it every day? Yeah, he would switch up the guests, though. I know it was Nicholson, oh. and then... He should have uh, done more of that. Like, yeah, what about if he absolutely. did a Carson monologue, and then a car now. Like, like, you, you and I, you and I would like that, Mike. Like, no, but I'm... You think the 26-year-olds from Barstow would like that? Shit like that? Yes, because they'd be like, what is this maniac doing? You can't be, I'm not saying it had to be Carson. I'm it doesn't. Saying, it would have been something, yeah. as opposed to sleeping. It doesn't work when you're by yourself, though. Like, a hundred hours watching a guy go crazy is kind of... You, there has to be other elements. There just does. It's it like, would have worked better if he was awake. <laughs> what would you guys have done in that hundred hours? If you guys had the camera on you for a hundred. What are you what laughing would you at? Guys do? One second. Let me get this Barstool right. take guy who I like. I miss him. I'm gonna get, I give him lessons, this Barstool <laughs> take guy. So he tweeted out that like he was like with me and Dave Portnoy on this essentially, which it wasn't a real uh, accomplishment because he walked out. It was yeah. over. He did this when it happened. All the commenters were like, first L for you, first L for you, you suck, Tate. First time ever, we hate you. Because they all love him now because right. he's like the chosen one. It's great. I like him. He deleted that tweet right away. Um, yeah. He know he's a, he's a com he's, he's new. I was going to say it's early. And he also get, did he like one or two of those. He no? put up when he and I were messaging back and forth about Kelly Keegs that time. And I, I said, you know, you should probably move on with something else. Like, it's just, you don't want to be governed by this one thing. And he's like, oh, I guess I shouldn't blog this, put up this Valentine's Day thing I wrote for. And it didn't have my response, so it looked like he was going on his own without, like, against what I was saying, like he's a bad right. boy. Mm -hmm. Or if oh. he put the whole thing up there, the response was, if you wrote that, you should do it. But he left that part out. Oh, no. Yeah. Are so you guys kinda, still communicating? Like, no, is he still I, like, no, that was it for me. Like, okay. I, I don't, I'm not, not a huge fan anymore. I have his tweet about Clummer. The deleted one? Yes. How do you, how do you have it? My good. Because I, I, have, I have things. Okay. Did you get it from where I got it? Uh, probably. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Um, Clemmer walked out of solitary confinement. It is over. He even said the only reason he returned to the room is because he saw a cameraman slash her people run away in that hallway. Now he's a completely different person on the stream that he knows people are back and watching. Right. It's deleted. Deleted. Because let me see if I can find some of the comments. I have them. Again, I'm just giving life lessons here. Because then all the comments were like, uh, L, hop off Dave's dick, Tate's first L. Uh, made all the brown no the brown nose was obvious. Like so, he's he just didn't like. I don't like that. Like you can't be the bad boy. You know, he's trying to present himself now, which is great. I want him to do very well, but you can't be that guy. Then the commenters like they're not always right either. Once in a while, like so what? I thought like anybody with a brain knows that Clemmer did not go 100 hours. Like that just did not. He fucking walked out, walked down the saw hall, someone. and clearly saw somebody and went back in. Like he's a, yeah. It, didn't leave the floor. No, it, 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 not even an argument. It's insane. So then when I did, I'm sure all the t comments were like, you're fuck you. But who cares? It's, you know, you, you, I, I don't know. I, I was, when I saw you delete that, I was like, oh, I'm just another puss. Yeah. My only defense of that would be it's jarring at first. Like if he continues to do shit like Can't that. Can't dance on people's like, graves and then, but, and then do that though. Can't oh, do I know. Can't yeah, have both ways. I think that's Can't a learning experience. Spot. Yeah. He, he, you know, yeah, maybe we'll find out. We'll find out. But uh, you know, he got away with it. So I don't know. But yeah, the, but, but, but I haven't really been back since Clemmer. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> that was the most the unnamed show text thread had gone because Dave was saying to us, what would you guys do? Would you, would you end it now? And I, I was like that final day, I was like, you got to let it play all the way out at this point. Let the Clemmer 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah I, w- I wished as a viewer, maybe this would have been mean or whatever, as the yak said, but I do wish when I realized it had gone 10, 15 minutes of Clemmer just sitting there after 2 o'clock, I was like, oh, so it might last the whole weekend now. Like, he has to... Oh, I, I think they just go. leave <laughs> Well, he, I mean, he must have had some idea it was close. Well, yeah, but he was like, oh, maybe it's noon or something. You know right, what I mean? Right, like, right, he didn't yeah. really know. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, obviously, it was a win for Clemmer long term. Oh, sure. It's something. They got, they got people showing. He's cemented <laughs> right, yeah. in now. Oh, yeah, he's never going anywhere. Yeah. He's been part of the two biggest stories at Barstool in the past two weeks. What was the other one? The pro day with Mincy. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess. That was pretty big when it was happening. I guess, yeah. No, I suppose, yeah. I don't know. I liked our stream better than his, but I'm, I was happy for Clemmer. It was a good, oh, good win for him. Well, no, of course. the stream itself, absolutely, I don't think anyone would argue that. Dreadful. But it's weird when Clemmer's like, yeah, I wasn't really looking like have anybody watch. I just want to do it for myself. Like, Fuck <laughs> yeah, well, what's the point of it? Why is it on, on the main Barstool YouTube page then? Like, what the fuck? Yeah. That was the one thing I didn't like uh, that Clemmer said was about the like the, the rice challenge and all that stuff. He's like, well, well, I deemed it impossible. That's it's Clemmer like, yeah, 101, that's, that's though. He's a quitter. Thing, He's like a born you quitter. Yeah. You just got to take your time. I mean, he's got time on his hands. Why doesn't he just Ex- right, finish? Yeah. Dude, finish what are you out? laughing at, Coleman? Oh, it's it's good It's good for Steve to be back. <laughs> What's it with you? What, Steve, when was the last time you were here? It's been a uh, while. AJ Soprano. What? The AJ Soprano interview. Was that this year or last year? It was this, this year. It was, so it was like 2024. Months ago, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. What's new with you? Not much. No? You told me I was dead a couple months a couple weeks ago. You're like, oh, Steve from Gloss is dead. So I thought, you know, the AJ Soprano thing, I'm dead. Well, you've lost some juice. What's the AJ I did Soprano thing? He was on the show. He got whacked. Because I had the interview. I thought I was gone. <laughs> because Jesus. you got whacked because of that? Because what are you of my about? questions. What kind of are, socks are those, Steve? I don't know. Like holiday ones. The like Christmas socks? <laughs> yeah. It's March. I'm deep into the laundry. Yeah, I have to oh, do the laundry. You? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Any dating going on? No, nothing. Nothing. No. Nothing yet. I thought you were starting to think about that, no? Thinking about it, but, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Things are unfolding slowly. Hmm. Oh, gotcha. Dating. Gotcha, gotcha. So gotcha. maybe in the summer. In the summer? <laughs> late spring. I don't know. Okay, late we'll spring. See. Okay, all right. What else is going on? Summer romance. <laughs> What else going on? Nothing, just you know, no. enjoying the show. Grateful for this opportunity to be on the, the good network. You know, well, look, both networks are fine. I you can do. That. I'm not doing that. I like both networks. Yeah. So, you know, people made their choice. If somebody on my network says, "Hey, Kirk," uh, they're both my men network, but the Kirk Minahan Show Network. Yeah. I don't know who's jumped over recently. Is Confused Duck part of our world now? He's he is. Okay. Yes. Robbie V. Oh. Robbie V. So if Confused yeah. Duck uh, said to me, "Hey, Kirk," you know what? Ultimately, I just like it better over there. Hey, no problem. Go get him. Fly south. Yes, yeah. yes, exactly, exactly. Coleman liked it. Never, a good, never a good sign. No, I, I think it's a matter of. Isn't it a matter of where you feel comfortable though? Because exactly, like I'm with like the rundown guys who I love, and yep. you know the drips. So I just yep. feel more comfortable on on this one as opposed to the other one. I mean, why can't I do that? Sure. Doesn't sound crazy at all to me. Yeah. <laughs> no, nothing. It's I like you just, like just speaking into something and then just giving it to someone else to put up. <laughs> This is my first official. Me- I met. I guess I met Steve at the vigil. Was oh, your first, first show together? Yeah, first show together. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. How, how's, uh, what was the conversation like? I'm speaking of conversation. Mm-hmm. I, Steve would be a great like politician or salesman. He comes in and mm-hmm. he has a tidbit about each of us that he thinks will hook us into. Oh, what'd you have? <laughs> oh Col- yeah. yeah. Him and Coleman had the most horrible ACC conversation. I've ACC. Ever seen. Coleman still has to Boston be Boston a- College Eagles. Coleman can't avoid being a poser now where he has to pretend like, oh yeah, the tournament this week. Oh, <laughs> shut up. He didn't even know care about that. But he didn't even know about it. He didn't even know about it. Even though the ACC tournament was this week? Oh, it starts now. It starts tonight. Well, no shit. I mean, it's... I, did, I didn't realize it it's started. It's like 40 tonight. teams in the league, right? No, it's not I don't know, 40. It's tw- like well, I know, but I'm saying yeah. it's got to take a while to play yeah. the tournament. Right. Where are the finals? You do your homework when you come in. You thought we were talking about the ACC tournament? Well, that, no, no then, but then he, to talk to people he, about. Then he comes you know? in here and he fires off a Garrett Cole bullet. We're talking about history. Ooh, I, not I good. Didn't, not I didn't really know much about it, so he goes, "How about Kirby enthusiasm?" I'm like Steve, now you've got me. there. You go, <laughs> Lori Loft. <laughs> there it happened. Now. Did you watch it? I no. did not. No, no. no. I would you say the Justin. Got to be careful with him though. Well, he lended his support. I yeah. lended my support. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. It's going through a lot. <laughs> It's worse than if he'd actually done this to these kids. It's worse than what those kids are going through. What Justin's going through right now. Would you say Justin? 100%. Good. Good. I just picture an angry Justin watching fucking fever pitch by himself. <laughs> Texting away the beanbag Ron, who I actually do like. Jeez. Uh, I like everyone, even the vodka guy. It's all good. Uh, what else going on? What do you got, Justin? The uh, the Oscars were, mm. were Sunday night. Movie's biggest night. <clears throat> yes, if you if you follow Jeff D. Lowe and I and Gooch and that idiot uh, Ken Jack, who I can't believe they did fire. <laughs> 
But one of these guys, people realize Dave's not going to fire you. So just do whatever you want. I guess so. Yeah. I much. think Mincy figured that out. Mincy, but at least like I like Ken Jack, but Mincy is entertaining. And Mincy Fair. didn't figure yeah, it out. Is. I don't. Think. Maybe subconsciously, but right, right. I don't think he said, "Oh, I can do whatever I want." No, 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 no. no. He's retarded. <laughs> so if you if you followed the our bets, you were the one some money. I think the other night, correct? Five units. That's great. So uh, I enjoy. It. I thought it was just, I thought Kimmel's monologue was terrible, but they're always mm -hmm. terrible. But I thought he, the, it's amazing. He sucks now. I've said uh, this before, and I'm, I'm I'm stamping it in. His decline is worse than Stern's. I think. Uh, well, it's just Stern's peak was higher. Oh, absolutely. So, but Stern will at least try to do, even though it's awful, like Richard and Sal, we weigh Richard right. and Sal's diapers, and we have Cocktober right. and all these horrible things. Kimmel has just abandoned who he was entirely. 100%. It was actually yeah. uncomfortable when Kimmel did the Trump tweets at the end of the show. I was like, could you be more triggered by this guy? Like, who? Right. Why does he have to be part of the show? Like, who can, part of the Oscars? It's, it's yeah. always about. Oh, wow. Him. Trump Man, tweets something out uh, stupid. I'm like, wow. I'm really proud of something. Uh, I, I was wondering if I could share. It with you. I just got a, a review, and um, <laughs> has there ever been a worse host than Jimmy Kimmel at the Oscars? His opening was that of a less than average person trying too hard to be something which he is not and never can be. <laughs> Get it's rid of Kimmel. And perhaps... <laughs> he kind of nailed it. Yeah, I mean, I thought he was. I thought he was terrible. Like, yeah, I, it's also a job that just lends itself to being terrible like it's like you very rarely as a host like you tell down the middle jokes and but i saw the next day kim was like the right the producers told me not to go on and, and oh, say it, sure. but, I, but i did it anyway oh, like, why wow, sure. you're so brave in hollywood to America's go after hero. donald trump but Jesus. if the producers said that it's probably wise to be like yeah don't bring up trump for no reason right now yeah, yeah. like i always say yeah, i'm sure the producers did not say that but, even, but even, even if they did like that's good comment like yeah most of america like i don't at least half of it is voting for this guy so yeah. why yeah. do that and that show had no feel like that at all, so it was just dumb. Uh, we have a caller. Oh, sure. Hello. Hey, what's up? It's Mincy. Is this the Dan Patrick show? It's it's Mincy. <laughs> yeah, it's Mincy. Yeah, Mincy. Oh, I said, you know, I've been screwing things up lately. I went to the wrong wedding. Is this the Dan Patrick show? They told me I was going to do a spot. No, right, I'll, I'll play along, Mincy. Yes, it's the Dan Patrick show. How are you? <laughs> oh, how's it going? How's that McLovin guy back there? <laughs> He's crazy. He's wacky, isn't he? I'm shooting some yeah, hoops. You know right? I'm shooting like some hoops right now. Go ahead. Yeah, you know what I like about your crew is you don't have any drug addicts. Like, uh, you know, that shows up in Boston. Like those wacko guys who waste their time, like, going to, to like, uh, co conventions seven hours when they should be editing the show. You know what I mean? <laughs> conventions? I don't know if I know what, that. what is he talking about? Oh, uh, Gus? I think he's talking about Gus, yes. Oh. Yes, oh. yes, yes. Yeah, <laughs> a convention. It's Mincy, he's a little behind. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mincy, the, 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 my crew is slower than you right now. I, I'm smart. I know things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, Mincy. See you later. You like how I tied that back into the Oscars? You did, you, you did, you did, you did the best you could, Mincy. <laughs> See you later. <coughs> it's, it doesn't quite sound like Mincy. No. No. Uh, oh, I hope he's not under the weather. <laughs> the highlight of the show was Ryan Gosling, I have to say. Was that right? I yeah. thought that was very good. I thought he did a good job of the I'm Just Ken thing. I laughed. I thought he should, should, showed some guts to do that. Fucking Tom Cruise and I have done that in 1994, that's for sure. You don't think? Right. No. Yeah. It's a huge movie star. Like, I, I, you know, I was happy Oppenheimer won. Like, it was a good, solid Academy Award. It's like B+. Plus. What did you think? Me and Justin mm -hmm. were discussing this earlier. Okay. I don't understand the Pacino I was controversy that up. or yeah. whatever it is. Uh, he, didn't seem like, it, he was funny during it. didn't it. seem like that crazy a moment. Well, I don't know if he was necessarily funny, but... I don't think... Well, he was an old man crazy. trying to read something. He was just like, oh, I, I yeah, see up there. Yeah. Yeah. They won will take the award for best picture. And uh, I have to go to the envelope for that. And I will. Here it comes. <laughs> and my eyes see Oppenheimer. You think he sounds sharp there? Like he didn't like Glenn Gary Glenn Ross? No. No, but he sounds fine. He's in, in his 80s. Uh, he's, he, he looked a little lost. Why would he, he sound he, like he looked, that? He looked a little lost. He looked a little lost. Like he had no yeah. idea what was going on. An 80-something year old guy. I didn't think he 84. I wasn't or like, oh my God. No, but you, you know, honestly, this is one of these times where you're not seeing it. Like he was like, he was like, maybe. He looked like thoroughly confused with the situation. At one point, I think he said, like, what's going on? Which is never a good sign. <laughs> no. Uh, like, uh, Originally, they had advertised Michelle Pfeiffer to be a presenter. He was gonna, she was going to present with him like a Scarface reunion or something. Mm -hmm. Maybe that made more sense because like when you have Beatty and Dunaway and now this, like old people in their 80s probably shouldn't go by themselves and do this. That's fair. You know, but, but I thought it was funny. Like I thought it was good. It was way more entertaining than if it wasn't like that.
Mm. That, that yeah, was there was my, no drama. Like you knew it was going to win. I, when I, I just saw like on Twitter, it was like, "What? I can't get over this Al Pacino." I was like, "I don't think it's that big a deal." Yeah, I, yeah it wasn't that bad. He just looked baffled. I, I felt was bad. expecting a Warren Beatty thing where he said the wrong name or something. Just depressing to see how old they are. I guess. Yeah, like you know, and that betting was there by herself, probably because like Warren Beatty's too old. He, was, he seemed like a spry father of a, t- a yeah, two-year-old exactly. or whatever he is. <laughs> What's a fucking old now? Oh, yeah, but like Scorsese looks old. and He does, but at least yeah. he's like with it, though. Like mm-hmm. If he went up there, De Niro, the same thing. But yeah, it was that might be the last time you see Pacino in that, in that kind of situation, I would guess. Too. Was that the first time that they did like the individual um, nominees, like each actor presenting one? They did that a few years ago. And I didn't like it. I didn't like it the other. It was just weird. It's such an ass kiss fest for fucking four hours where they're like, you're like, oh, your performance changed my life. And you're like, oh, just give the fucking award out. Yeah. Jesus Christ. But is it, uh, you would know much better than me. Mm-hmm. Is it that what it's always been? Where like now we're just like, it, this shit is everywhere. Whereas it used to be the Oscars were the one time you got to see all these people. But now it's just, we don't well, that's, yeah, care about Well, there's so it. many awards leading into it. There's no drama. Like you just right. do every award basically. So yeah, there's some of that. What do you got that notes of yours there, Steve? What? Uh, uh, <coughs> let's see. We oh, have a paper. Did you hear you. Eric Carmen died? I heard, I did hear Eric Carmen died. Yeah. Did you like him? Uh, yeah. Do you like the raspberries or no? No. Do you know anything about them? Or Not no? really. Okay, so you're just you're just saying that just say it. Yeah. Okay. Well, I thought you meant raspberries the fruit. He was in a band called the oh, Raspberries. The, yeah. All right. yeah. <laughs> no. Lose control. Very little lose about control. This man. Make me lose control. I thought you like that, that one. I'm all by myself. Favorite. Yes, that was a good one. You know that one, Mike? All by oh, yes. myself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Hungry yeah. eyes. Hungry okay, so that's, eyes. That's what yeah, and he had. Uh, he also co-wrote the duet "Almost Paradise" from Footloose. He did not oh, sing it. it. That was. Uh, Kenny was Loggins, wasn't it? No, no, no it's oh. uh, Mike Reno from Loverboy and uh, Ann Wilson, I believe, from Heart. Right? Nice. Yes. Yeah, you know that one or no, Mike? Uh, you don't know that song? No, I don't. For Footloose. Almost paradise, we're knocking on heaven's oh, door. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he wrote yeah. that, yeah. That was he him. co-wrote it with Dean yeah. Pitchford, I believe. Um, why I know that is not relevant to any conversation, other than I spent <laughs> a lot of time alone. I spent a lot of time alone as a kid. So. <clears throat> but yeah, yes, I did see that. I, yeah. I think a bit conservative, too, I believe, later in life. Okay. As was James Woods, who was a producer on Oppenheimer. Now, as someone who thought he was referring to raspberry the fruit, you just go- how do you stumble upon that information and present it to Kurt? What, Eric Harmon? Yeah. I, I saw it today in the news. I, also I know was, he's an 80s like guy, so I didn't, know, okay. I didn't know he was in the raspberries. I just... I also wondered if like, that was a joke that they named him Eric Cartman. I thought that's what he said at first. Yeah. I was like, Eric Cartman. Why would, why would <laughs> yeah. that be the joke? Like, because they tell, do dumb jokes like that. Like, they thought Eric Cartman is kind of funny because he sings like, Goofy eighty songs, oh, right? Called, and they maybe they weren't allowed to call that. I don't but know. But isn't the, aren't those names references to like yeah. friends of yeah, theirs? Yeah, I think yeah, that's yeah, what it turned yeah. out to be. Yeah, yeah. I, when it first came out, I was like, "Is that Eric Car- Carmen?" Yeah, yeah. I did yeah. see that though. What's your thoughts, Steve? Oh, just shocking. Shows how old we're getting. You know, like you were shocked. <laughs> well, I wasn't like like falling on the floor, like devastated over yeah. it. But it shows like, how finite life. Really you know, you is. start seeing some of the, you know, the singers and the artists that we grew up in the eighties listening to are now all dying and they're all older and we just talked about Pacino was 84 it's you know showing like man things are speeding up here I hold you you're my age I'm gonna be 47 <laughs> in May 47 in May yeah, yeah this is what happened Steve yeah he was a young guy I think he was like 74 74 yeah yeah that kind of stinks sad to see it yes I did see what else speaking I, of sad it's a good age to go honestly <laughs> not but I, I think 74 I think you gotta hit yeah. 80 though. to me I, feel good. I say yeah. 80 sure I think 110 but, yeah well Okay. I was gonna bring up WEI in the Ooh, ratings. I saw you. Goodness you gracious! Put the ratings out. We don't spend much time on that anymore. You know, I think people could tell I spend less and less time on the EI the longer I've been away from it. But sure. I got the ratings sent to me yesterday. That's the worst ratings weekly I've ever seen in my life. Statistically, zero people are listening to Rich Keith. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> well, not not a human being is listening. To no. <laughs> so less than one rating, and I saw somebody one of the possible? comments was like, "Hey, he's going into Bruins and the Celtics over there." I'm like, "Sure, I understand that, but." That is still one less than one of every one hundred people in their cars are listening to right. WEI night from and by the way, that's twenty five fifty four men. That's a very concentrated male sports fan age. That's the week after the Super Bowl. This is football yeah. time still. Because remember, the ratings are delayed like three weeks. So the weeklies I got were from like three and a half, four weeks ago. One every hundred people are like, eh, maybe less. Seventh seven seventy percent of one percent of one person. And what was Mutt doing? Like a four or a five, maybe? Do you mm. recall? Breathalyzer? Yeah. <laughs> well, that. Uh, <clears throat> but he was probably like five, four to six. 
I mean, not I'm, I'm not here to praise him. It does, right. That that's, doesn't. That's, no, but just that's, out of comparison of how, yes, how better, bad they Oh, better for sure. Yeah. Better for sure. And better when I was, but, but, to be, to, but to be fair to Rich Keefe, which I don't want to be, <clears throat> much lead in was not uh, Adam Jones and Megan Little. True. Well, was so, it much better, though? Yeah, well, I would say Lou Foray is a better lead in. Yes. yes. Yeah. Um, but when I was a kid, EI was always going up against the Bruins and Celtics at night. Like, they didn't have... They didn't yeah, when I was a kid, they had the Celtics, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean... Yeah, it's crazy. So Greg had a decent week for them. Like they were mm-hmm. seventh, but they like did a six or whatever. He was getting lost in the midday show with Andy Gresh, who came in three or four years ago with some. Remember that video? He's like oh, the NWO. Yeah, He's like invading. I'm gonna fight my friends. Their ratings yeah. are just as bad. Like everyone kills Adam Jones and Megan Lini. I understand that. Christian Foray on his own has never drawn a rating his entire life. I forgot he was still. Yeah, I mean, I mean, still in my man, mind, yeah. they got rid of Lou and Christian. That's the one show I've never listened to a single second of in the car. No, I've never listened to that show ever. I haven't listened to that or Adam Jones except for <clears throat> clips that have been played. I didn't yeah, begin to hear how bad thing. I want to hear how bad it was. I, I don't listen to it ever. I mean, I don't know anything, but that's unbelievable. That they were twentieth in the afternoon. Oh, 1.5. 1.5. I mean, I've lived here my entire life, essentially my entire life. I'm fifty years old, basically. We used to do this with Dan Lebatar when he was on. He used to try and get us fired, and he'd be thirty eighth in the ratings or whatever on AM. I I could not name you twenty radio stations in Boston. No chance. No, no, no fucking way! Look, what, what are you trying to think for, Coleman? You can fucking do it. <laughs> well, I, what are your eyes squinting at? You're fucking not from here. You went to college. Yeah. I can't remember. Well, the last I don't know. I just you didn't know the radio in BC. No, BC's but I didn't know if there were like station. that many. You want to do this, Coleman? You want, no, you want no, to no, 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 listen to the radio arnold 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 anderson arnold thompson arnold, fat albert arnold arnold r arnold no. w arnold arnold w. W. claire arnold arnold chancellor arnold arnold it's got to be arnold terminator was a, a dumb ass hint to give i, I got she didn't locked. give that hint though yes she did she said his name yes, no she did not say that the thing we texted about when i said can i give him this is you kept saying his nickname is the Terminator, and I wanted to tell you that's not necessarily his nickname. <laughs> I thought what you were going to say is it's tied into his last name. Oh no 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 you no know? no! That's why I was I like, don't do it. Terminator is <laughs> which not wouldn't his have mattered. Nickname. None no. of this would have mattered. Yeah. If I felt great physically, we'd he'd still be sitting in that seat. Yeah, I'd be out. That, right do you know what happened? No, to you wouldn't. I wasn't going to give you Jim. That's fine. Would have found a way. <laughs> what, what happened to me? Do you know specifically what was wrong? Because you were in. Tuesday morning, you sounded fine. And then when you came back, you sounded I was just sick. sick. I just yeah. Yeah, had a sore throat that night, and I felt okay. But the afternoon, I could tell I felt worse and worse. Like, I feel pretty good right now. Obviously, I just don't sound great, but I feel so much better than I did a week ago. Sure. <clears throat> where I was doing a lot of this, but I think I'm on the other end of it now. So, I mean, it, oh, I was... It wasn't COVID, or...? No, I took a test, I, yeah. which I didn't want to do. Um, <clears throat> no no strep. Um, so, they just said it's just virus just going around, so... I don't know. Who knows? It's mixed blankets. Huh? I think it's mixed blankets. Yeah, it could whatever be. Whatever was yeah. in there. I, I, if I try right now, I'll just try right now just for the hell of it. 20 radio stations in Boston. Okay. <sighs> EI. That's one. 98.5. All right, we're cruising. BZ. Yep. Um, <clears throat> uh, Kiss 108. All right. Magic 106.7. Sure. ZLX. How many is that? Six. It's only six? six? Yeah. No, fuck. Uh, mm. I know you got a few more at least. The River, 92.5. Okay. Uh, 92.9 BOS? Mm-hmm. Mm. The hell are you laughing at, Coleman? Just, Steve sometimes gets me. He's counting <laughs> with sometimes. his hands. Counting. <laughs> I know, but he's like, yes. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm into it. I'm into it. That's not even AAF anymore. Uh, no. Mike, I think we're going to have to get lunch. <laughs> Be here forever. Mm. <laughs> Maybe, buddy. <laughs> well, AMA 50 is ESPN, right now? Yep. Okay. Uh, I, think. I think it is, right? Yeah, I, I think know. so. I'm trying to think of the old days, like where the big 8 AM presets. For me, it was 8.50. I was going to say, there's at least another AM I know. 10.30, there's RKO, there 6.80. Oh, I mean, is that 10? Yep. All right. Yeah, Jesus. A couple more you used to work with, or at least one. I used to work with? Well, technically, in the same building. Took their studio. Oh, I, I got one. 
took their studio? Yeah. That was Archeo, wasn't Big it? Doucher. That's not, that's oh, not, that's yeah. not Magic? No, it's no. not. Oh, it's 1067, right? Or no? Magic no. is 106.7. Oh, 105.7. Um, wasn't it or no? Yeah, do you want to say what it is? That's the Lauren and Wally station, right? No. No. Is that 106.7? Hey, this this station... Well, I know uh, 105.7. I just don't remember, I don't remember what they are. What are they? This station was 98.5 Carson before 98.5. You got a bull, yeah. you got a bull of radio Carson stations. Carson and Kennedy. You're stirring Wasn't them around. That, uh, what? Carson and Kennedy? Well, what are they on? What yeah. were they brother on? calling me. Fuck, what's he doing? What's that? Carson and Kennedy. What? That's what I'm saying. I don't know. What yeah. are they? Yeah. Mix. Mix. Oh, uh, uh, right, right, right. It's 105.7, though. Right? Or what? It's 104.5? 104.1. What's the one now? That was AMP? And what's, yeah, what's the one that Steve thought Pat Benatar was a... Uh, Big 103. Yeah, 103. 103 right? Oh, okay. yeah. All right. So, okay. That's 12? Uh, I think a little more. Um, a little more. Okay. A little more. 17. <laughs> a little more. You need one more. You can count to 12 here. 19. 15. 15. 15. One more and it's over. Am I forgetting any? There's a lot. I'm looking at them. Yeah. Well, I know there's a lot, but I'm, I, don't, I don't know them. Any that you should know? Not that I can think of. I'm sure I'm forgetting some. Oh, something. um, yeah. Jim and Marjorie. Oh, sure. 96.9? Is that, no. Is that what they are? W. They used to be B on TKK 96.9. I thought 96.9 was rap. Yeah, now it yeah. is. It used to be talk. What is, what's BCN be now? Gone. But what took. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that's. The... Yeah, what's Greg's. Uh, what's AAF now? It's a like, Christian Catholic station, station right? Christian. That's what I'm saying. Like this is, <clears throat> they're twentieth. I'll just tell you. So I have the. Let me see. Uh, BZ was first. WG WBGB FM was second. Is that? Is that like a NPR station? What was it? W G what? G, WBGB. The hell is that? It's uh, big one hundred three. Oh wow! Second. Oh nice. Jeez. Good for those, them. Those Fitzy uh, liners are really working for it. <laughs> they did eleven eight in the afternoons in this weekly. Oh, good for them. Uh, three to seven. They do make fire playlists. They do. Seven to midnight. They did a twenty one. Wow. Jesus. Yeah, I, that is Entercom's best station. Oh, by, by far. Yeah. Think yeah. They spend no money on it. Is yeah, that yeah. what you? Is that what you were in the twenties? What was your? Yeah, very rarely. I mean, yeah. we'd, we'd be in the thirteens, fourteens. Yeah. Yeah, you know, when things are going well, tens, but yeah. This is overall, right? Or is this men? Hmm? Is this men? Men twenty five fifty four. Oh, it's okay. all that matters. I'm sure, overall, big one of three is even higher. Probably. Oh yeah, I would think. Saturday, Sunday, six a.m. to midnight. EI FM zero point four, tied twentieth. Oh. Do you think it ever gets to a point? Because I just thought of this. With What's w w f x f m? That's what I want to see. W w f x. W w f x slash m f m. I imagine they turn the lights off because seven to midnight the weekends they do a zero. It's Worcester's <laughs> rock station. Okay, they oh. they doubled Fourier and Gresh from ten to three in oh, Worcester, in Boston doubled them. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that, that's <laughs> that's not a good sign. I, I I I don't know much, but I know that's not a good sign. What's W? <laughs> the Pike Morning Show. Presents. Oh, that's where uh, Mike Shue is. The great Mike Shue. Oh, is he really? Yeah, I like Mike Shue. Yeah. Is that really? He's like hosting. I think so. I could see that. Yeah. The Pike What's, Taco Bowl 2024. Jesus. What's W B W L F M? W B W L F M. The Bull. What's that? <laughs> oh, country. Country? Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, they they beat W K L B F M. K L B. Country again. Another oh, is country. It? Yep. Yeah. Boston's hottest yeah. new country. It's hottest. Okay, they 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 beat them. Jesus Christ! I'd kill. Fuck! I would actually kill myself if I lost <laughs> oh. these stations. I would. Is there a point? W, now? I'm sorry, Mike. WCRB. I feel like I know that. No. Uh, Boston classic. It's classical. Classic Jesus. music. Wow. Twenty five fifty four men. Oh Holy shit! God. Here's what they did. Okay, uh, they did a two five midday, which means. Classic. Give me a little. What's that sound like right now, Coleman? Give me a little WCRB. They beat them by a point. M. Steinert and wow. Sons. Oh, one second. Celebrating the 171st anniversary of Steinway and Sons. Throughout now, I know the 30 year old guys are looking to buy <laughs> yeah. pianos. Yeah, there we go. Party time. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That is bad. They did a uh, 2 5 uh, in the afternoons. They beat them by a point in the afternoons as well, and they tripled. Rich Keefe at night. Jesus Christ. How is that possible? You know those 34-year-old guys just cruising around at night like, hey. 
Oh, they have they have blogs too. On they do? Website. Oh yeah, everyone's reading out uh, oboist Albrecht Mayer and the operatic <laughs> drama of Bach. Rich Keith was gonna physically fight me once, and he's losing to classical. He's losing to classical music. <laughs> How is that possible? It's insane. Uh, yeah. Well, they. I thought of this with uh, AAF. Uh huh. Well, they get to a point where it's Greg Hill in the mornings and music the rest of the day. I think so. Yeah. I don't think they're far from that. Makes sense, right? Why wouldn't they? Or syndicated gambling shows. Is yeah. what I keep thinking. Yeah. Is what I think they're going to do. That makes the most sense for them. Because what I mean, what's the point? Like, yeah. what is the fucking point to, to have these shows on? Right. Because Christian Boyd played for the money. Patriots once. Like nobody listens to him. Andy Gresh is to them. And I'm surprised the big 103 being their best station hasn't taught them like why even have human beings here. I, I mean, exactly. just stop, I guess, yeah. <laughs> well, she got that note, notes here, there, Steve. Uh, oh. Jerry, back. Did you yeah. Know? How do you sound? I didn't get to hear him. He sounded a lot better than he has. That's good. You know, before. Right better than I me. Mean, he still has that little bit of a scratchy voice, but you know he had to get back in with the whole Biden stuff that he, he couldn't wait to get back in. So, yeah, so he came back uh, after the State of the Union last night. Last night? Or last week. Oh. That was big. What happened to the Native American music? I don't know. Oh, yeah, they, this they is they the old. This is the Chrono That song. is old, yeah. You go back to the classics, I guess, once yeah. in a while. I do wish, when I was listening to it uh, yesterday um, during lunch, uh, so they pump in random ads beforehand. And uh -huh. the first ad when I was listening to it was in Spanish. Well, maybe you shouldn't <laughs> be making fun of people, Justin. You like to be made fun of. So. <laughs> go ahead, <Colin. laughs> Start this edition, a special oh, edition of the Callahan Show yeah. with a preview of uh, tomorrow morning's Morning Joe. All right, you ready for this? Um, last night, Joe Biden, the 45th, 40th. This is not, this is not yet. In the United States, the no, this is two days. No, this is, this is the day night. after the. How did he sound yesterday? Last, uh, yesterday, it's he I did was, sound a lot better yesterday. Good, that's good. That. Yeah. good. I was told he recorded that post State of the Union episode at 11.30 p.m. Who's your source? <laughs> I won't give, I won't <laughs> give that up. <laughs> but, but it was important to get that up ASAP. He doesn't acknowledge Lake and Riley. Uh -oh. He doesn't offer an apology to her, to her family, to her parents, to her friends. He offers an apology to the piece of shit. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoa, just, whoa, yeah. whoa, 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 Yeah, he was, he was willing to curse. <laughs> wow. That's when you know he's mad. Yeah. He even do the... <sighs> <sighs> yeah. Elizabeth Warren, that cuss. <sighs> Lady. <laughs> when, when he does the emphasis on names, like Marjorie Taylor Greene. Yeah, like, he yeah. gets all in, but, you know. Uh, what else? Uh, did you see the story about the, uh, the Boeing quality control guy who... Uh, testified um, against... What else you got, Steve? Oh, Are you uh, watching Full Swing? Yeah, so that stunk. Yeah, I'm yeah. at the Joel Damon episode. Right. I, I was sick. I, one of the shows I watched, I was sick. It was Full Swing. And why is Rappaport so, like, in... Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's And they feed these writers lines. It's so it's dumb. It's awful. It's so poorly put together. It's unwatchable. I, I find it to be complete crap. Mm. Skip for me. But I, I watched it because I was sick. There's nothing else to watch. No. There isn't anything. When did he try to get me into this uh, Masters of Air show? I thought it stunk. That's the uh, Pacific yeah. kind of Brothers thing, right? Yeah, I just didn't like it. Uh, I, just, I was bored. I don't know. I was tired, too. Yeah. So. I was what all caught on the crown. How so. are you feeling about the unnamed podcast? Is it, is it meeting your expectations? That's right. Yeah, are yeah. you? Oh, yeah. He's a big anti. Oh, you don't yeah, like it. An, oh, I'm anti Portnoy. The numbers the, seem pretty big. I know. I know. People seem to like it. It just seems like Dave kind of sabotages the show sometimes. But he's a boss. He can do whatever he wants. But sabotages it's like, the show. how does he sabotage? Well, he, like, sabotage. Like you guys are like going and something's good. And then all of a sudden it becomes about Miss Peaches. And it's like. I don't think we did much Miss Peaches last week. Not right? last week, but the one with the $8,000 bowl. Like I was like, um, but that was if it wasn't for you, I'd be, I'd be done. I'd be done. You're like, down on Whitney. No, I like Whitney. I love him, but, but just the, the eight thousand like dollar bowl, the eight thousand dollar bowl thing right. was like if it, if you. I find on that funny. Car, if I, I would have that, shut it off. I find I it like, funny that this idiot is buying an eight thousand dollar bowl. Exactly true. I'll tell you what's infuri infuriating. He's penetrated my home now, where he, like because he's cracked this new audience. <laughs> and oh. I just hear Alba scrolling through Instagram, and I hear, "Oh, oh, well, you okay, Miss Peaches?" <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, "Get it, get it out of my house!" <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's unbelievable. But he did something last night, right? On his own feet, I guess. They do the something. box opening or something? Yeah, uh, people sent yeah. like gifts. Yeah. 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 Speeches. Yeah. Any good or no? Not that I saw. Uh, they just kind of dog treats or whatever. Not dog treats, but like. I, 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 they never fires anybody. I would have fucking <laughs> fired those three people so fast last week. 
<laughs> Keegs and and Rhea's. Yeah, oh, yeah. The, the, I'm, uh, I'm, whose sister? Uh, Franz. Franz. I keep saying because of the name for him. She'd be gone. And fucking Ken Jack would be gone. Do you know which one he was screaming at on the phone in that video? That was Gia. That was Gia. Okay. Gia. Yeah. 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 It sounded to me like Ken Jack was like talking back to him. I'm like, holy shit. Yeah. Man. Take the fucking loss. Jesus. Yeah. Well, Ken Jack was at least off camera fucking with Clemmer. He shouldn't be doing that either, though. Like, sure. Not, like, absolutely. That's, but that, I'm saying that, those, those honestly, two like, honestly, gave out information. I actually think that might, what he did might have been worse. Really? In a way, because like you're fucking with the actual thing. They're all bad. Uh, whatever, yeah, it's but, awful. It is awful, Steve. It's yeah. an awful thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Terrible thing. I'm a little worked up here about that. <laughs> What's wrong with you? You seem it's very awful. muted today. Well, I'm, I'm sitting next to greatness here. What am I going to do? You know? <laughs> like, <laughs> I I call, actually, didn't I you say he was a great the, in the past? I got was called a, up to the major leagues today. Didn't, you have, a, didn't he have a quote about Mike major once leagues. where he's not like, he's like. No, he's, he's been a fan about me. On. I he, love him. He was upset yeah, that I no. criticized him once. Oh. Yeah, the whole Mike, what are we doing here? Yeah, yeah, You know, like that. Was it like, he, did he call you like a fake Italian? Was that something? Is it really going to be Ali and Frazier or Hackle <laughs> Hearns going at it? Or this is... Oh, no. That was, I don't know if it was it, a fake no. Italian, but he said I should understand because we're paisans. We're paisans. Yeah, That's yeah, what yeah, it was. Yeah. Which yeah. I, I, I did lack that uh, integrity. That is true. Yeah. Why true. Mike? Unbelievably funny. Love him. See? There <laughs> you go. Wow. Nice. Okay. Yeah, there we go. He's good. He's <laughs> okay. Did you, did you hear the Big Cat uh, Rico thing? Last night, with no. the um, the college basketball thing. Yeah, no, I didn't hear it. They were just talking about college basketball. Was that any good or no? Uh, just screaming about March Madness, freaking out. Yeah, yeah, Rico freaking out. Was it real? Or Dan Yellen. Like, no, not real. It was like real talking about the coaches of. Yeah, NCAA. yeah, yeah. I think that's real for Rico. I think he gets yeah. fired up about that. I guess. Yeah, I mean, I think we do we do this thing. We get paired up with somebody every year. Oh yeah, uh, the uh, bracket busters. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I guess we're not, that's not happening. Obviously, the well, it's just, I never see Dan that worked up. So I'll be here. Okay. With like a hear, bit or not. Update: Danny Sprinkle's gonna win fucking Coach of the Year. Tyler Cole, except they played nobody. Okay, they played nobody. Radio? Your team they right have, now. They played nobody non-con. Look at their non-con. Dave, non by the way, Dave, healthy debate. The picture when they when she did the Kobe thing when she was asked for. Anybody ever storm the court and when they, and paint the body yeah. and win the t when they win the, the title and the to, you game fucking as a ten point fucking favorite? Anybody ever do that? They were not a ten point favorite, you idiot. They were not a ten point favorite. You got a share of the title. You got a share. Okay. Don't count your chickens till they time, have. At the time, at the time, what are they talking about? The title and I won a half. Cool. You clinched a half. You clinched a half. <laughs> You this is a the, this is fucking so that's what that's your counterpoint and that's oh, also no, because, because you're only you were such a fucking baby you were such a baby I do like when fights like this where like the real truth comes out though Oh yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> like you tell Rico drives Dan fucking crazy he's like, yeah. just a fucking baby like you just I, I have no idea what the fight's about that Iowa woman like pretended she was Kobe or something that... So she won the her conference championship or whatever. Right. And so someone asked her, can you recreate the photo of Kobe sitting in the shower? Who asked her that? Said, I don't know. What the fuck is wrong with people? And then she did it and they did it and they said, well, this is kind of sad because it's not, it's a conference championship. Right. That must upset you. No. As a Kobe guy, no. I, I give a fuck. People want to take pictures and. Okay. Wow. Boy, it's big of you. Justin's a lot of, yeah. lot of laughs. There, but, yeah. <laughs> well, no, I, I never heard Dan that worked up, so I didn't know like if he was really agitated. He probably hates at him. Rico sometimes. Yeah. We all do. He drives me fucking crazy. I love the guy. It makes me fucking nuts. <laughs> Jesus. It's that and Coleman. There is two triggers. Apparently. That is true. Yeah. What else in that notes of yours? I don't think I have much more. That's it. Eric Carmen and that. <laughs> you had to write those down. Oh no, no, I had full swing. I had <laughs> full swing. Yeah. Oh, here's my other thing. Uh huh. You're talking about the spoon and the popcorn. We talked about it earlier. Yeah. Would you bring condiments to a movie? Theater? I don't eat condiments. I don't use condiments. I think even well, on popcorn. That'd be on popcorn. That'd be in, that would be. Oh, well, here's what? my question. Like, I like hot sauce on my popcorn. Okay, I don't. I wouldn't. Like, I wouldn't bring it in there. Do you really? I, do yes. people do that? I, I don't I'm know. I'm not that. against or, this or idea. Pa or paprika. 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 <laughs> paprika. Paprika. I don't know. He bless the rains down the paprika. Well, when I'm at home, I put. You know, hot sauce, uh, paprika on my popcorn. What are these so, hands doing? What's going on? That's how you I'm do it? I'm just doing the thing. Of, I'm like, Italian, you thing you do, you're, doing, you're doing this, though. What's, what's, <laughs> I don't know what I'm okay. doing. So, yeah. What people bring, would you be against somebody bringing that in? Morally? Yeah, well, whatever, morally. Or would you think the guy would be odd if you're looking over and they're putting hot sauce on their popcorn? I thought it was weird that Rob Bradford would get, like, fried food at the North Shore movie theater. That's a little Yeah, it much. smelled. I didn't like that. It was a little much for it my was. dad. Gets yeah, hot dogs. Huh? my dad gets hot dogs. It's, it's to me like, that that's like that's just rude. 
Well, because you you your experience has changed. The smell. I know your dad's gone through PTSD, but tell him not to do that, okay? I'll tell him. I'll tell him nicely. Do it nicely. He's been through a lot, but tell him not to do that. What about, like, outside food, though? Um, Like, what do you mean by outside food? Well, like candy? <laughs> I get like when I lived in LA, there was a great general, there was a great then, sandwich place next to this place in Burbank. I'd go see movies, and if it was a lunchtime, I'd go. I'd get my sandwich and my coke and bring it in. The guy, didn't, the people didn't care at that theater like that. Yeah, but when that yeah, when I was too, a kid, we no, were always my, yeah. like a ham and cheese sandwich. You're definitely getting a whiff of sandwich. It's like a steaming hot dogs or fried clams. <laughs> no. Oh, fried, fried clams, clams. So you should be taken yeah. out back. It's a wrong yeah, get. You, you get fried. Oh, you get fried clams. You. Yeah. you should be shot. Fuck you. You get fried. Yeah, I agree with that. You get fried <laughs> clams. Well, you're friends with them, so it's different for you, Steve. Yeah, but still, fried clams is fried clams. Do you bring your hot sauce into the movie theater? I've never done it. That's why I'm asking you. Would people do that and be like looked at differently if they brought some hot differently. sauce in? But the movie, I don't know. The people movie look at you the same no matter what, Steve. The okay. movie theater experience is different now, where you can. There's a menu that they bring to your table. They bring to your your tray. In some theaters, right. Yeah, some. Not, kind of not annoying I, though. Why yeah, is like that? like the people walking back and forth. Yeah, I don't like it either. Yeah. yeah, these are from, these are people like Mike. I, I like the I like the movie. Like yes. I don't I need to be fucking. I'm, it's not fucking romper room. I guess I did watch a fucking movie. I was stuffing my face for two hours. Another round of malt. It's me and my friends. <laughs> I mean, Mike's Mike's ordering fucking the, you know, fucking four appetizers. And I can't believe you're against the intermission. That'd be like the greatest thing if you like. Why? Why you can go to the concession stand? You can go, go anyway. But you're missing the movie. Well, go for th three minutes. Pick your spot. Or be a fucking adult, hold your fucking bladder, and don't eat for two hours. You could do that. I'm just saying, you know. I, I, but why wouldn't movies do that, though, to re make a couple more sales or whatnot? Because it would. It it Christopher Nolan gives a fuck if. Uh, what does he care? Well, they do it at sports, like intermissions at the end of like a hockey period. You get 15 minutes. They don't just. Because they need I'm, a fucking let me, break, let, me give, let, me, let me tell you, okay? Like, like <laughs> Killian Murphy, like in, in, in uh, Oppenheimer? Yeah. He filmed that months before. Like he's not I tired after a half hour. But what I'm saying is, like, like <laughs> let's, you guys in a bit. let's go, let's go down the field. Tracy Wolfson is talking to Matt Damon. Matt, like, it's, it's it's different from a sales perspective. I get I you. From, if you're that. a theater owner, you'd yeah, want that. You I want understand that. that. Yeah, especially yeah. for a movie like Oppenheimer, Oppenheimer, Killers of the Flower Moon, where it's three, four hours. I'm fine. I'm fine with it. I'm just yeah. saying I don't particularly. Need I mean, it. if it's a 90 minute movie, no. But if you're up to like three, four hours, like The Irishman, why wouldn't you have a intermission? Right, that's fair. That's fair. Who else you got, Justin? Uh, to bring back to the uh, WEI thing real quick, do you think they could wish they could go back in time to November of 2016 and just keep Jerry around? November of 2016? Yeah. He was around then. I was around then. No. Uh, oh, Jerry Thornton. He tweeted out today. Oh. My <laughs> departure in November of 2016 was the beginning of the end for that once proud institution. He well, does, I left he on does good that. terms and did not want it to be like this. Sad, very, very sad. When did you tweet that today? Yes, two hours ago. Because Patrick Ford, uh, I think he was kidding. Patrick Ford, I think he's playing on the joke that I make sometimes. Jerry Thornton retweeted you and said, "If they open the studio windows, they double the audience." Patrick Ford said, "Haven't been the same since you left, Jerry." I think I think that's a, a joke. <laughs> <laughs> and Jerry, is this a joke though? Uh, Jerry's no. Does Jerry? Yeah, Jerry believes that. Right? I like Jerry, but Jerry's under some belief that he had some anything to do with the ratings. He did not. Like yeah. The ratings. So he left when? He said in November of 2016. So they have gone down well, since then. What was he, midday? Afternoon. So I'll just Afternoons, give you uh, right? summer of 2017. Here's October 3rd, 2017. Chad Finn. <clears throat> Jerry left when? 2019. November of 2016. Oh, okay. Jerry Thornton. Yeah, Jerry Thornton, uh, November of 2016. Chad Finn, October 3rd, 2017. Uh, both the Sports Hub and WEI can and will claim uh, Boston's top-rated sports rate station over the summer. What is on dispute is a remarkable ascent to the top of the morning drive by the Kirk and Callahan program. Uh, we were first in the mornings. We did a 13-7, touch to the 10.6. Uh, middays, EEI did a 9-2. Afternoon drive uh, without Jerry. They did an 8.7. Think about that, Mike. <laughs> 2017, we did a 13 in the mornings. Uh, Christian, Glenn, and Lou didn't win the book, but they beat 98.5. ZLX actually won the mornings. Yeah. They did a 9. They just did a 1.5 last week. Wow. That's crazy. Afternoons with Rich Keefe, Dale Arnold, Michael Hawley, unlistenable. Did a 9. A fucking 9. So less than a ninth of the people... Are listening. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> wow. They were second. They did a a, a, a third. A Felger Maz who do twenties now did eleven three. Uh, Dale Holly Keith did nine. Lost by two points. They lost by twenty points last week. 
Yeah. No, Chad Finder writes about, th- never writes about this. This I like Jerry Thornton. He's a good guy. This has nothing to do with Jerry Thornton. So that, that, that right there, <laughs> October 3rd, October 3rd, 2017, uh, Chad Finn writes that. That same month, October of 2017, is when Murchison first reached out. Mm-hmm. Literally, that's exactly when that happened. That is, that's the lie. Now, I'm not saying, if Jerry was there with Dale and Hall, they would have done very well. I'm not saying that they, he wouldn't have hurt the ratings. I'm saying Murchison and me leaving is literally, you can draw, like, I'm not saying this is an ego perspective. It's just numbers. Nobody writes about yeah. it, but you draw a line in the sand. Was Jerry Thornton fired? Mm, no. Went back, went back here. That's what I thought. Yeah. So that's, again, why is he acting like, oh, that was the beginning? Like, they started. It seems like he's saying, like, he got what you got. Right. Where EEI was like, get your free speech out of here, right. pal. <laughs> but it's like he chose to leave. I mean, Jerry's corny jokes with Dale and, it, you know, I like Jerry. Right. Like, but, like, Jerry fit in with those guys. Like, he was considered a hard edge for them because he would say, like, bum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I, you know, <clears throat> Jerry was fine with those guys, but, like, that's not... That is stolen valor. A little bit. Like that, I mean, yeah. you know. I don't, but I hadn't seen that in a while. Like, I forgot. So that's a step, that's October 2017. And what does he do for Barstool? He just blogs? Yeah. Football yeah. and yeah. Patriots. Big Patriots guy. That is crazy, though. I'm looking at it now. It's wild. 13-7 for us. 9-2 for Glenn. And a 9 for Dale and Holly. It's like historic artifacts you have there. It's no shit. <laughs> Chad Finn having to write about it. And uh, I'm not lost tonight, but I mean, that's, that's <laughs> nothing changes. Have really. you uh, have you talked to Glenn at all about it? Uh, we were texting yesterday about it, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it's unbelievable, mm. I can't believe it. The weekends, she's crazy. Well, there you go. So, I like Jerry though, so if he needs to believe that, that's great. But those numbers be any better across the country though? Like, I feel like Boston, like. Pay special attention to sports radio in general. Like very unusual, very high. Like what, yeah. what you heard us and Tucker Rich doing in the morning there is was crazy. Yeah, what's a sports radio station in Tennessee doing? Exactly. Right yeah. yeah, fours, fives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's also year. You have stuff year round. Like, but it's also they're most. I think a lot. A lot of the country is Jim Rome and Colin Coward. Correct. And, yeah, Dan Patrick. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, all that shit. I think that's true. Yeah, those bums over in Cleveland. Oh, oh that's right. God. Oh my yeah. God, Jesus! What are the odds? If, so I don't really understand that they were trying to call Jim Tomey. So, yes, they yeah, offered their they, intern. They, tell the audience who don't know Coleman about Jim Tomey. Jim Tomey <laughs> is the number eight uh, home run hitter of all time. Wow. He played for the Guardians, uh, most notably. Well, we call the Indians. The Indians, here. Indians yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but he played in Cleveland, most notably. Also bounced around. Uh, you know, was on the Dodgers for a cup of coffee. Also bounced around. <laughs> bounced around. He was with a cup of coffee for the Dodgers. Yeah. That's true. That is like true. a ping pong. Yeah, he just bounced it. around. He was the Terminator. What did you think of that as he a man, Steve, term- listening to that? <laughs> oh, I can't. The Terminator. Huh? Were you annoyed by that? A little bit. Yeah, go ahead. Well, the floor is yours. Go ahead. <laughs> I just don't. I don't. I don't. I don't think he had any baseball knowledge. Really? I, I just. I <laughs> no. think he's. he's no. He's, he's, what is, uh, what, what, what led you to believe that? <laughs> I, just the whole thing. I His fourth guest was Tim Wakefield. <laughs> yeah. Thank God there were a few days off because you really hit the nail on the head. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> a little perspective from Steve. <laughs> I mean, I just. I don't know. It's funny's disgusting. funny. It was funny. That's funny. <laughs> what was that? Funny's funny. That's funny. Oh, thank you, my friend. <laughs> I I agree though. I think this would have went on a long. Oh, it's still be going if on. You, that's not even. If you didn't come in and put an you, end. Do you really believe that, Coleman? You got it. Yeah. How? What? I don't know. But, but Coleman, magic. Like, you said, uh, magic. Like, magic. Yeah. Like, brother? Did you say, like, yeah, one of his, maybe. One of his family friends was named Tommy or I something? I said ten times, start naming people you know. I know, but I really just didn't want to listen to you. <laughs> <laughs> I liked getting you agitated. But you guys literally fun. were giving him the answer. I, I gave him the answer. <laughs> you guys were giving him the answer. Like, and how did not pick and that up? Cra- the craziest thing was when he would go through the names, and, like, Coleman became so attacked. Even before I said the names were on the board, Coleman only cared about the names on that board. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be like Jake, Jerry, Jim, John, John, Jim, we did Jim. I was well, that he was told it was Arnold. right, and his first guess was Juan Escobar. That's true. That's true. That's true. Juan, we did, we did Pablo the, Escobar. Like, he, like, come on. We did the whiteboard to get Frank Robinson too. Oh yeah, yeah no, he would. So you think you would never got that? No, without no. without without the whiteboard. Honestly, that's such a common. Without. That's a kind of common first and last name though. Yeah, but he's not. He wasn't saying Robinson a lot. It was right, Mike's true. tweet or the Steve Robinson. <laughs> Me tweet. saying Steve Robinson's yeah. name. Also, Steve Robinson was not the producer of the show ever. You wouldn't have got that. 
No. <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> His impact still to this day. Yeah. <laughs> I thought the poll was uh, giving Albert Pujol. So I was like, whoa, wait a minute. Where did that, that come from? That was impressive. That was an impressive one. But that was a victory. That that was, was that really was impressive to do Albert Pujol. two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's his claim to fame on that list. He got Albert Pujol. Yeah, Hank Aaron was a troubling thing. That's yeah, why I think we yeah. knew we were in trouble. Yeah. Um, but, oh, yeah. So these guys in Cleveland. Sorry. Sorry, Justin. Yeah. Or uh, Paul. Basically, they <laughs> said that they would offer their intern a hundred bucks if they could get Jim these Tomey's guys, man, number. These wacky guys, yeah. yeah. Um, and they just acted like Jim Tomey came out of nowhere as a, a name. They said they picked a name out of a hat. Yeah, that feels but, unlikely to me, well, especially it, for ESPN Cleveland. Like the day after this thing was exactly. like trending number one, that seems a little. It strange. feels very unlikely. But can I ask why wouldn't wouldn't it almost be better if they were like, hey, we saw Jim Tomey? Yeah, so I don't get. Yeah, that's a, I don't get that either. They just yeah. called like them, like they had Coleman on or something, right? Mm -hmm. Like that's what I don't get. Yeah, I didn't understand that aspect. Why it needed to be. It was also kind of all over the news. Like, I don't know why they would. Because, well, and then after the fact, they, uh, Andrea Tomey kind of came out and said that they were harassing her or whatever. And they were on calling. International Women's Day, she said no yeah. less. It makes it even worse, Mike. That I felt was a little. Yeah, I didn't love that. I didn't, didn't love that. <laughs> Bullying me <laughs> on yeah, International yeah, 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 Women's Day. You know, you're, you're ahead. Don't, don't spike the ball. <laughs> yeah. What was that, Alcom? Uh, no, but they were calling up uh, the school. I think that's that's a little weird. If that's yeah. true. That's a like little repeatedly. weird. But again, it was just an intern. Like I don't. And they just seem very those guys. Eclipse I saw. Oh, ooh, we get yeah. the with the, the spaz, whatever the intern's name is, and we're gonna ooh, we're gonna get this name. And like yeah, he just yeah. he beat the Riz quiz. He did beat the Riz quiz. What's the Riz quiz? I don't know. Let me get more. No, coffee. no more coffee. All right, Aaron, this what's is, going on? This, this is, isn't my. Uh, look, hold on. This is now the last thing this guy needs is more coffee. <laughs> <Yeah>. He is <laughs> fired up. <laughs> Yeah, no, no more coffee for me today. I'm pretty caffeinated. <laughs> you know that. Take the Riz quiz at 1230. You know, you know what? We're, do we have a Riz quiz for Mike or no? Just enough for me a Jizz oh, quiz to give oh, oh. <laughs> no, it's no jokes, Mike. No jokes. <laughs> of all days, Mike. International Come Justin on. Day. I'm sorry. I don't like International Justin, Justin Day. Uh, I don't, awesome. I don't think so. Oh, here we go. Do I have Riz? Harry had a Merry Rizmus uh, t-shirt. Wow. Wow. That's yeah. pretty cool. He's got Riz. What do you absolutely need to have Riz? Self-love, money, witty one-liners, or confidence? I say confidence. Are we giving money? this to Mike? Me and Mike head to head. I'll say money. A Riz off. What I say? Oh, Jesus. I think the Riz quiz. Is there a right answer? Uh, we're we're going to find out. So confidence, we're going to say? No, Mike said money. No, I money. Said money. Okay, I'll, I'll do money. I'll, I'll do Mike's. You do Kirk's. Okay. Like Oppenheimer watching my guys build this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Glasses on. Steve, Some, Steve, ten minutes in Oppenheimer, having to piss and get popcorn. He wants a fucking absolutely. remission. Absolutely. Oh, you like Oppenheimer? I know. I, I enjoyed it very much. Not but, the Godfather too, though. No. No. Nah. Sure. I someone, understand. someone cute catches your eyes. What do you do? I catch their eye in return and hope they approach me. I wow. go over and introduce myself. I consider saying hi, but get nervous. I smoothly give them my number. Well, that's I'm, that's D. I mean, do I have to give my actual answer? What no, I think no, Riz would you, be. You, 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 no, the yeah, but take, I for Riz. Supposed to give your this is like answer. for your Riz. Oh, oh. Mm. Then, then C, obviously. Okay. What's C? Well, uh, I consider saying hi. Nervously but get walk away. <laughs> Riz was pussy. Oh, that's D for me. <laughs> strutting over there. What's your personal style? I don't worry about fashion much, but I always look good, fashionable, and eye catching. Thank stylish you. but not too elaborate or comfort above all else who cares about fashion <laughs> d baby um, yeah there you go <laughs> thankfully our friends at milton's milton's.com they're three they make occasions. they make guys like us look good we'll be at milton's tomorrow uh, a milton's social shirt. plaza that's right so uh my milton's actually casual sweats on today which i like social plaza break street chestnut square chestnut hill and their newest location will be tomorrow the burlington mall milton's.com i saw uh, they were they had a poll i just retweeted it uh go vote for them i think it's the best place in the south shore maybe is that right Go give him a vote. I uh, retweet it. Go find it. The show will as well. Uh, Milton's.com. Uh, the store for men. So I will say D, but knowing my Milton's on, the Riz is flowing. That's right. You should change, change the name of place to Rizton's instead of Milton's or no? I think that'd be a bad move. I, at this point, when they've established the store the brand, for Riz? No. Honestly, when? Mike, okay. do all right. Hmm? When was the last time you tried to flirt with someone? Someone approached me yesterday and I started flirting and started flirting. I yep. flirted back. Yep. I almost never do it. Maybe last year? Pretty recently, sometime this past month, and just yesterday. I mean, this is a difficult. I don't know how to answer this. <laughs> it's, None. A Riz, well, it's a Riz question. <laughs> if any, if anyone you and Lauren Cobb are well, flirting away. Well, wouldn't Lauren Cobb be the, uh, be like yeah, you were flirting with her. That's true. 
Yeah. Um, like, would you say pretty recently? So pretty recently. Pretty recently. Past, like, yeah, me and Lauren flirted, I suppose. This might be yeah, bold and inappropriate. Did you finger her during this uh, episode or not? <laughs> well, you'll have to see when it comes okay, out. Okay, good, good. Uh, a little tease, you're saying. Yeah. Okay. I meant, like, like pick her out of the lineup. <laughs> right, right, right. Like the, no, the, but, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. I couldn't do, actually. Okay. <laughs> you're disqualified. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That's Sorry. actually that's a, actually stolen completely from uh, Between Two Ferns. Oh. oh. When he has John Hamm on, and, he's like, and he says to him, he's like, uh... He's like, there's some sure some good look good looking women on the show. And John Hamm's like, uh, yeah. And Galvanic is like, Do you ever finger any of them? <laughs> and John Hamm's like, You mean like pick them out of a lineup? And Galvanic is like, Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> <clears throat> Back when he was funny too, was that Galvanic? It's a different yeah, he, world. Does he did he no stop way. being funny or does he not do I haven't seen him? Yeah. He's just got very like, much. very like left wing ish. Is he? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, never since even one Mel Gibson, which I don't which is fine. In Hangover Three, but like was okay with Mike Tyson. And I'm like, oh, what the fuck? Yeah. Uh, uh, whatever Mike said, I go with him on that answer. All right. Within the past month? Hell yeah, I'm sure. Rizzo how, how skilled do you think How you many are? questions are there here, by the way? 12. We're on five. How skilled oh, God. do you... <laughs> <laughs> it's a tough life, the risk, the risk life. How skilled do you think you are at chatting people up? I'm an expert. Mm-hmm. I'm used to being chatted up, not mm-hmm. the other. I'm used to being chatted up. Are you answering up. for me, Coleman? And yeah, you're answering I, for Mike? The, these are all like yeah. three options and then my answer. Okay, I can't do it. I can't do it anymore. So. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the sound for the Cleveland guys. Go ahead. Right here. Intern yeah, Nick. The spotlight is on Intern Nick. Now what, he, picked, he picked number five. Intern Nick. Number five was, you tell everybody. You even stole that? All right, what do you yeah. have to do? Well, I have to get in contact with him by 1245 to get him on the show. 1250, right. he's and at till 1250. So when I put this video out, am I allowed to tag Jim Tomey? This could get real easy, Aaron. Uh, no, uh, because you're not allowed to have help from... Is that help? That's help from team. That's you. Did Nick, do you have the password to the ESPN Cleveland Twitter account? No, you're That's an intern, not. so he doesn't have password to the account. So we cannot do that. Now, if fans, or if we want to put it out and then... Nick wants to send. What the fuck am I listening? What is this fucking yeah, I didn't, I didn't, yeah. get, I didn't get the What the fuck the are they operation. fucking talking about? Jesus Christ! And imagine you have to listen to that volunteer. Like you have to listen to the cars. Imagine if you're Jim Tomey and you're like a second day in a row. <laughs> oh yeah, shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like first it's funny and then it's like oh, Jesus God. God Almighty. So those guys weren't very playful though. They weren't responding or anything, right? No. Uh, no. Sounds are they like, on now? Um, I believe so. Let's call them. I need my Riz going for this call. <laughs> I'll get the Thank number. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> Thanks again, Steve. He's on fire, Mike. He really I'm likes t- it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm just, I'm okay. a barrel laugh Here's today. the gift. Is it a baseball cap? Choose your Cleveland Browns hat. Now, to Chris's What are we doing here? Point, I'm just playing what they're talking about. Oh, we're on hold? No, no, no. We're getting the number currently. Oh. I was playing what they are now currently you know, talking about. You know about. you want to talk about Browns hats when you call them. Or you can just say it yourself, I guess. <sighs> No, yeah, yeah. What's the to- what's the topic? Free agency? Browns hats. Probably. They're like the old uh so there's the jacket. That was a previous year. So merch, and I this guess. year you get the hat. I love that orange hat. Chris, don't you love that? Wait, what's wrong with that hat? Nothing. It's sweet. People were going ballistic. Imagine if you I always say this, imagine if you walked in and three of your friends were talking like that. <laughs> you would be like, You guys okay? Like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Uh-oh. I only got some. Oh, that's not that can't be it. <laughs> it certainly is. What? It, it is. The they disconnected their 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 phone number from like the Twitter account. Yeah, where the, where do they list that? I'm not even talking about the topic, which is terrible. But if they just talk like that, going ballistic. Yeah, like, uh, yeah. Ooh, I like that hat too. You'd be like, you guys, <laughs> you guys have a stroke. What the fuck is going on? That's definitely that's it. It's it's what's on their website. Their call. It says call in number. There's. Phone number, fax number, call in number, and website. They don't take phone calls. I don't know. Maybe they maybe they only op- open it up at certain points. They disconnect the phone. <laughs> I guess I'm not too familiar. Ask they intern the Riz God. <laughs> They're on the phone with AT and T every day. <laughs> They're like <laughs> intern Nick. Pulling the plug on it. Ooh, fights. Barstool was not happy with stool presidente piling on the narrative that people in New York office don't work. Well, why, why doesn't he get him to work then? What do you mean? I don't know. <laughs> it does to... seem like, not Feidelberg necessarily, but it does seem like that's a, a plague to the office. I just don't know, anybody, I don't know what anybody does, to be fair. So, I'd like to talk to these guys in Cleveland, but oh well, what can you do? Also, I would say that Portnoy's not piling on. He kind of started it. Yeah, it's all, He's I, the yeah, well, first in the pile, you know? I left on very good terms and was did not want to be like this. Sad, very sad. 
I still remember where I was the day I found I let you go, Patrick Hoy responds. The, the house that Mayo built, Storyland, chills. This is respond to uh, Jerry Thorpe. <laughs> When Dave was called, I only watched a few seconds of his highlight reel of yelling at people, mm -hmm. but I thought I, I overheard him. He like, is anyone even there? Anyone there fucking work or whatever? I don't like when people, like, people don't work here. Yeah. If, if you want to say there are more successful people there, more likable, more talented, that's fine. Sure. That's fine. But people do work, but yeah. People work here. Yeah. And I think that I think that when Dave said it, that's when I started being like, okay, it's getting out of control now. Right. The people here work. I, I was like, give me a list of the shows. And again, this this is I, I know for a fact it's not super accurate because there were shows on it this list that are gone, mm -hmm. and there were shows that exist that were not on it. Like Out of Order wasn't on it. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a, it's a ballpark. Jersey after Jerry wasn't Jer Jerry after Dark wasn't on it. Chef Donnie's show wasn't on it. But it was like there are 15 shows out of here. There were like six out of there. And then I asked I, I asked the editor in chief. I was like, who I was like, who does blogging? And he's like, it's about 80 20 New York Chicago. And I was like, okay, so what was some your subjective opinions? Are fine. Well, hold on. So like if, 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 like if, John's, if John's point is that the people in Chicago don't work either. Like I'm, I've been to both. He's not wrong about that. But I'll say Fiddleberg's different. Like that comedy thing he does does very well. It gets like mm -hmm. millions and millions of views each time. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Is it seems like Fiddleberg's taking like personal. Yeah, I, to I, I, I don't think about he him. means Fiddleberg. I, I think, but I think where Fiddleberg is right is it gets misconstrued sometimes as the people who also just contribute nothing. Like. Right. Like, but like, Gia might work a lot. I have no I, idea, but shouldn't do anything. Not to defend Portnoy, but I think he's taking it too literal. When he looks at Clemmer sleeping for right. 100 yeah, hours yes. and says, does no one fucking work here? Right. I think it's like he's exaggerating to an extent, you know? Well, but also, does that incident happen where they nearly screw up the stream if, you know, they're working and writing blogs or doing right. whatever? You know? <clears throat> yeah, so, I mean, they're, yeah, I'm only Kelly Keegs works very hard. I could be wrong. I, I, don't, I saw Clemmer was quick well, to... Monday to Thursday. He was... She was white night at 7.30 or yesterday or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah she was, it's working at 7.30 in the morning. It's amazing. I can't believe somebody could do that. They're probably when, filming the next uh, rat race. <clears throat> I think they are this week. I believe that's right. And he was excited Clemmer's, to get out because there's a big meeting, rat race meeting. That's the other thing I couldn't believe. Is Clemmer said at one point in the stream, oh, yeah. 20 people were involved <laughs> in this? Since December. Huh. Three months ago. This, yeah. is, this, is, this is what drive, if I was Dave, this is what I would say the fireworks, more like this. What are these fucking 20 people doing? Mm -hmm. Clemmer went in there and there was a puzzle challenge in rice. Right, and that was it. Like and, twenty people, and it wasn't sold. It was like right, they, twenty people. That can't be right. No, there aren't twenty people in New York. Who the fuck and was there? I, I would defend Clemmer by saying, like Clemmer was saying, Vibs was getting shitty to him. Like then just quit or whatever. But wouldn't you kind of blame him as well? Like as the producer of this, sure. Thing? Couldn't he have had ideas, things? That yeah, I don't know Clemmer? what he does. But I'm sure maybe he had a bunch of ideas that Clemmer. I, I don't know. To do yeah, but also like Clemmer kind of sold Vibs down the river in this. Like he basically just refused to do any challenges they came up with, and then it made it seem like... Yeah. Coleman's a Vibs guy, obviously. I yeah. like Vibs. That's true, Vibs though. Guy. That Clemmer did refuse no, to totally. do that. No, it's Clemmer yeah. 101, though. He doesn't He doesn't work hard. Clemmer's a quitter. Like, what, you want to do, like, uh, Quantum Week, uh, at a theater near me, 95 Mariners. You don't yeah. bet anybody, Mike. Sure. Cheers Podcast. That's right. This. Yeah. Well, Clemmer Cheers can't... Podcast wasn't his fault. Yeah, collaborative. Clemmer doesn't finish anything. He did not finish this challenge. Yeah. That's a fucking fact. That's a fact. But didn't they expect that to happen with him, though? He's a loser. I mean, <laughs> you what? can't. He can't be sold like that. Like, if you were doing a hundred hours, yeah, it's something you can sell and put on the main bar stool. I can tell you this thing, but uh, I, I don't know. I, but it's just New York. It, it, Clemmer's part of that mafia, though. Like, if I was pitching that, mm -hmm. you think I'd be? You think twenty people? Would, I've never been in a meeting with. We, no. Steve and I did the first season of the case, which got a million trillion fucking views with two cell phones. We didn't sit down in the meeting with thirty people. This show, I have never been in a meeting with more than two or three people on a call ever in the history of the show. Chris Clemmer was really in a meeting with 20 people. That's that's playtime. That's what I would say to Feilenberg. That's pretend time. What would you guys Nobody's doing with? anything productive. I don't I wouldn't have done it. It's, I, would have yeah. fucking, I don't care if about you, it. If you had to, what would you tell Steve, Chris Steve, I don't know. I don't know, Steve, nor do I care. I know you don't care, but I'm just saying. What are you afraid of? <laughs> like, I would put him in there with somebody else. A bag of rice. I would put him in there with somebody else, whether it be Mincy or me or Rico Frank. or Dave or Frank or somebody and say, here's the prize, $50,000. The first one who leaves doesn't get the money. The one who stays gets the money. Yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. If you're here for a month, great. If you're here for seven days, great. And we're going to torture you in different ways. You're not going to know about it. There's no rules. If you bitch once, you're out and you lose the money. It's not bad. Yeah. That's, huh? I think if you bitch once, that could be part of it if he's going through it while bitching. No, but I was saying, if you say, I'm not doing this challenge, you're out. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you, you know, like that. I, I say this all the time. When you do these things, 
Like, you think I want to do that fucking puzzle thing? I didn't know how to do it, but I did it. You know, you do, you go, you do the best you can. I wouldn't be like, oh, I, I, I'm not good at puzzles. 20 yeah. minutes in? <laughs> you signed up for Maybe it. Maybe day three, I'm losing my mind, but 20 minutes in? Say what you want about Coleman. You didn't, you didn't do that. No. Oh, no. But that's what you signed up for. Coleman. sleep. Yeah, it's I, Coleman. It's time for anything. I think my math is correct that Clemmer was asleep as long as Coleman was awake. Probably. Oh, I, believe yeah. that's, I believe that's true. Oh, at least. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the stream only lasted 36 hours. Yeah. He was at, at least asleep for half of it. Uh, Clemmer? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah honestly, yeah. maybe more than half. How do you sleep that long? I get like six hours and I'm happy. He's like, he's like a content, simple person. So he can just turn his brain off and sleep away. Like he's, he doesn't want to. That was like, the crazy thing is he said he's an insomniac. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you remember the guy didn't work for years before he did this show. Well, Mike, didn't people say that he was detoxing or something? That wouldn't surprise me either. Detox? That wouldn't surprise me either. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I believe he's an alcoholic. Like... <laughs> wouldn't surprise me. Uh, but he'll be here a week from tomorrow. Chris Clemmer back uh, in studio. A friend of the show, but a failure. <laughs> <laughs> what's, hey, the, what's bringing him back here? Uh, I think he's doing something in New Hampshire or something. Oh. I believe. I don't know. But yeah. What else? I have a few more minutes off. My voice is checking out. What else we got? Uh, there were a couple of Dale Arnold tweets from the uh, from the Oscars. I saw one oh. specifically. Yeah. Did you see this one, Mike, or no? No. It's about. I'm blocked. A, uh, so am I, but yeah. a, a bunch of people sent me the photograph. This is the one we're talking about, John Cena? Yes. Yeah, you know, if you saw the Cena skitter, Don, Mike. I did. Yes. I can only imagine <laughs> where he's going. That's now, a ritual. Do you th- <laughs> yeah, do you think the John Cena thing was actually like a. Humiliation ritual, people were saying? I did see that. I saw people were saying that uh, because of Epstein or something or pedophilia or... It's kind of like uh, it's kind of like a Scientology thing. It's like right. the, uh, where they the get wearing a dress in Hollywood. They also say... My takeaway was I would never wear those shoes ever. I hate Birkenstocks. Is that always wearing like the Birkenstocks? You see his feet. Yeah, I mean, I hate feet. So that's what I saw yeah. right away. Am I, to believe, I don't want to speculate. Am I to believe that John... John Cena has said he's never done any performance enhancement drugs. Am like I me. to believe like that's most true? Like most wrestlers, yeah. yes. I mean, this guy is... I mean, Steve, you know, you're a fit guy like him. Oh, like absolutely, that's, yeah. It's tough to get with. Do you be willing to do that, that same like skit? Shivel, that like, was a lie. Yeah. You do the same skit in Portland, Steve? Would you be willing to do that? Go naked with the... <laughs> me? Yes, you, yeah. <laughs> they get up and leave. What are you talking no, about? No, I don't think so. Everybody would get up and leave. No, 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 no. What did Dale say? Oh. Uh, so MTV tweeted, things I didn't expect to see at the hashtag Oscars, naked John Cena. Mm-hmm. And he quote tweeted and said, be honest, if you were built like this, would you ever wear clothes? <laughs> oh, man. I would, Dale. In the winter, I sure would. <laughs> yeah. uh, when I went to eat, I probably would. If Just I was, for it human worked. decency. Yes, yeah. I, think, I think I would. I think I'd be uncomfortable. He actually had, oh. it looks like he had a bodysuit on. Cena? Yeah. So as far as Riz goes, Dale has flirted in the last he was week. Wearing, yeah, there we go. You know, he was wearing one of those like cover-up things. Right. Well, I figured they probably had to cover themselves legally. His fucking cock came out. Yeah, they had to yeah. cover his his his, <laughs> his genitals a, and his ass crack. They had yeah, to cover. seems fair. Yeah. Yes, I mean, sort of, I guess. But and yeah. then his other tweet was, which I didn't understand. Maybe you can explain this. Thanks to Robert De Niro for allowing all these names to appear on TV in the closing credits. Hashtag Oscars. So Robert De Niro. What does that mean? Robert De Niro for the closing credits? Thanks to Robert De Niro for allowing all these names to appear on TV in the closing credits. Call him up. I don't understand that. De Niro fight for closing credits. Hmm. Was De Niro doing a bit while they were rolling the credits? I don't know. I did not see that. Yeah, I didn't. Will this be De Niro's last Oscar nomination, Steve? You're kind of an insider. Yeah. Yes. Oh, guaranteed. Yeah. No, I he's, at, he's more towards the end now. I mean, yeah. I could see him doing one more like Scorsese? an Anthony Hopkins type of role where he's got dementia or something. Maybe. You know? Time's well, ticking. What, is he 80 yet? Or is he... Has to be 80? if he's not there. I think he has to be, no? Oh, he's in his 80s. Yeah. Yeah. He's had a kid too, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He turned 80 in August last yeah. August. Seven children. Good for Bobby. But he's still putting stuff out, though. I mean, he still seems like he's working. <sighs> sure and... is. Yeah. What about yeah. Pacino? Is he? I'm a little concerned about that. Yeah. He's putting stuff out. He is. The ladies. <laughs> no, we got you, Mike. Okay, just making sure. Focus on this call. <laughs> Hi, this is 508. Oh, oh, You got to start, folks. <laughs> Today's next movie is uh, Alto Knights, with, directed by Barry Levitz. I've seen the premise of this. Uh, he plays, I believe, yes, he plays like twins in this or something. Oh, no. That's oh, not a great start. Oh, no. <laughs> 
And his next one after that is... Can you imagine trying to get through that seriously? De Niro talking to himself? No. Oh. <laughs> Tin Soldier. No, upcoming, no, no, you said it. Yeah. Upcoming <laughs> British American <laughs> action yeah, film with uh, Jamie Foxx and Robert De Niro. It's going to be in a TV series, did, too. Did that start with him with Meet the Fockers, where he went over to that like comedic side? Because he yes, never he did really that. Yeah. that Analyze like, this back to yeah. back. Yeah. He started making real money. He wasn't making money. You know, he was not a, he was a great actor. He was not considered a bankable movie star before that. He didn't been in big hits. You know? No? Raging no. Bull? No, no, no. Well, it wasn't like a big... It was big, a bomb. It, it, I didn't do great. Uh, no. Oh, it, it was post-theater that... Yeah, but it became, it's a great film, but like, yeah, you know... Yeah. Like Min, uh, Midnight Run was a little hit, but he good, wasn't in good. Like, in Casino were like hits, but not like holy shit, two hundred million dollars. Yeah, like yeah, Tom yeah. Cruise, Will Smith. Two didn't though. But maybe he wasn't a movie, but he was like a supporting actor in the movie. Yeah, I mean he, I he was Corleone like well, he back won in the best day. Supporting like, yeah. Taxi Driver. I know, but like he kind of. But again, what I'm saying yeah. is he was. These are not like like movies you people are going to see in the summer, like about big box office hits. Right. You know, not like I never thought I wasn't alive for mostly, so I never thought of it that way. I guess. Yeah, then you start making real money. Like yeah. all of a sudden, it's like holy shit. You know, this is so like in comparison. Start playing against type, like Meet the Fockers and Analyze This, or just him doing comedic versions of himself. Yeah. You know, like like Meet the Fockers uh, was or, was originally a. I mean, the parents were originally Clint Eastwood. They were talking about him. That'd be good. Easy, <laughs> right? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. no brainer. Yeah. Where Analyze This, oh, really only at that point, De Niro Pacino could have done that. Right. Really. like Pesci, maybe. Pesci, but like they're not, he wasn't a big, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. is that different? Like, uh, like Harvey Keitel or Pesci could have done it. But Wait, it would, what James year Con, it? I was going to say Gandolfini. <sighs> the Sopranos just came out. Okay. He wasn't, no. And that was kind of the thing. They both came out at the same time. Yeah. Analyze This and that. Uh, so is that what makes like Hanks and Watt, Denzel Different and that they could. Well, Denzel's sell black. Well, I know that, but they could sell something on their own. Like you would go to see a Denzel movie. Well, Hanks is a, Hanks is a more bankable movie star in a lot of ways than De Niro before, because like, like Big was a huge hit. Mm-hmm. Splash was a huge hit. Like you could say we're gonna put De Niro, like Robert De Niro wouldn't have done Dragnet back then, right. but but now he would. Like now, I'd be like fuck it, I'll do it. He did right, fucking. Because right. again, I told a story before <coughs> on uh, on um, Bo Boys, but. Harry and I were watching the Oscars the other night. De Niro was there. And I'm like, that's the greatest actor America's ever produced. And he's like, how do I know him? I'm like, you know him from the war with grandpa. Oh, he's right. like, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, right. That's him. <laughs> like, yep. He's like, that's the only thing he's ever seen him in. That's funny. Which wow. is crazy. Crazy. Well, soon enough, I'll see bad grandpa as well. Or dirty grandpa. Which I like, oh, actually. Which actually, that? that was kind of funny, yeah. obviously. The one with Zac Efron? I thought that was yeah, actually yeah, kind yeah. of funny. Yeah. The intern's not bad. I thought that was intern's that's great. Okay. Yeah. The intern's a terrific movie. Yeah. Zac Efron and John Cena were in a comedy. That is not Ricky Stenicky. It's dumb. It's really dumb. Yeah. But what I liked about it is like it's a movie that would have come out in the nineties, right? You know, yeah, like, I, I mean, it was I'll, a dumb comedy. Yeah, what's it on? Uh, Amazon. I think Amazon. Amazon. Yeah, Amazon? yeah I'll watch it at some point. It, at the end, it gets a little too. You know, they try to teach you a lesson at the end, which I yeah. don't care for. But like, mm. it's a dumb. It, you're not gonna laugh crazy, but it's it, if you right. throw in a dumb comedy, it's not right. bad. Is Wasn't that why is that, he made the OnlyFans like for that movie? I think maybe. Yeah, oh. that would make it would make sense. Basically. Oh, uh, Cena. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. OnlyFans. Yeah. It's like a joke though. He does like dumb stuff, right? It's like, yeah, you want to see me, you know, bust in my mouth or something, and it's like a banana. Or yeah, something. yeah, yeah. Oh. His character does a lot of jizz related songs. Ah. <laughs> I feel like seeing this, I put seeing in that Ryan Reynolds class where I, I just feel him trying. Mm. Like he's oh, trying so to be like, look how comedic I am. Look how much fun I'm having. Like, that's why I don't really like Ryan Reynolds that much. I think Ryan Reynolds will be more playful with part of my take, though. Yeah. You got to give him that. That's true. <laughs> Oof, yeah. That's a good point. Let's see. And he's big into phones now, right? Doesn't he own a phone company? Mint big in the Big in the phones. <laughs> oh, <what>? <laughs> <laughs> I love these phones. <laughs> well, he's big into it. He's, you know, it's his thing. Come on down to Ryan Reynolds' phone emporium. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We're giving well, these things away. commercials that he's always, you know. That's funny. I wouldn't guess this because I would think of it. What is the biggest movie box office wise that De Niro's ever been in? And it's not anything. Hmm. Comedy? Eh, I mean, it has comedic moments. I have. Goodfellas? I guess. Yeah, that Silver would be. Silver Linings? That... Nope. He's ever been in. Meet the Fockers. It would have to be. Oh, that he's uh, American t- Hustle or nope, something. Twice like as much as anything else he's ever made worldwide box office. Oh, was he in one of those like stupid like New Year's Day movies? He might have been, but that's not it. He, well, yeah, he was in New Year's Eve. <laughs> it's depressing. The internship? <laughs> the intern? Nope. Um, the, the guy who starred in it won the Oscar for Best Actor. Is I am. Oscar for Best Actor. 
and it was a comedy. Well, no, it's comedic, comedy. comedic moments. Yeah. Oh, was it uh, what Midnight Run? No. No. no That'd be crazy. <laughs> that was the highest grossing. Not doing this, guys. In <laughs> no. a few minutes. No. Mm. Would I know it? Yeah, uh, you've probably seen it. It's not Meet the Fockers. I'll say again, no. No. <laughs> I'm just thinking out loud. I'm a little think, fucker. I wouldn't lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> but inevitably, they're going to have, like, they're all going to come back, the grandkid fuckers, yeah. right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. They, Grandfathers. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, Probably not Dustin Hoffman, but yeah. Oh, I guess not. That may, it'll well, be his What do you guys look? No kind of, looking. I know. I, it was on there, so it changed. It. See, those eyes floating around. Yeah, I, well, I can't read that, so. <laughs> huh. I've seen. Oh. No, he wasn't in that. He wasn't in Wolf I can't. Of Wall I'm always thinking of everything. I'm Wolf of Wall Street. Um. He wasn't in The Departed. Nope. I don't know. Cape Fear. Nope. It's weird he wasn't. You're know. thinking that you got the wrong know. print on it. I'm just trying to think of like, anything that's coming to my mind. Where there's, is it oh, um, Casino? Was Rupert he? Pumpkin there. The, uh, King no, but, but King very, Comedy? But Bomb. honestly, very close. Oh, the Joker. Oh, Joker. There you go. Oh. There. Yes, yeah. oh. yes, there you go. That was just so would never. But I would take me as long as you guys, at least. Yeah. 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 That Over, is what I was trying. I was trying to think of that type of role. Yeah. Kill those police officers. <clears throat> He's on the sequel. That was just on the other day. <laughs> Joker? Joker, yeah. Well, he can't yeah. be in the sequel. I know, Justin. <laughs> Spoiler alert. I know, Justin. I know he can't be. What else? Uh, not too much else. I did have some of Mike in the Min- or Mick in the Minna fans uh, okay. from this weekend. Yes, I appeared on that show. You, you opened it, right? I guess, yeah. You also appeared on it? Well, I mean, oh, in that I, way. Okay, in that way. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I watched most of it. I thought it was fine. Uh, one thing I thought was funny was just little people, big world guy absolutely hates Montante. I don't know if that came across. Mm. I will I say know. right now, little people, big world and I will be doing a little Pe- people, big world season recap uh, in a couple of weeks. Oh, that's nice. That's all. That's why I was a cop on when I was uh, sick. Little people, big world. Ooh, I have thoughts, 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 thoughts. <laughs> oh, interesting. Very down a couple of cast members. I'm not going to give it away in this show. I save it for the, the YouTube show. Yeah, sure. of course. Yeah. In Rome. It just was just a huge coincidence that that stream happened the same day. Clemmer oh, that's, why, that's why I hate about Montante though. Montante's like, he did this whole thing where it's like, you know, Kirk did this to fuck with Clemmer on purpose. It's right. just like, but he's a conspiracy theorist. I know. I know. Yeah, but that, it's, well, it's such a thing. bad quality. <laughs> and, but probably people like that is like, you can't argue with him. Cause like, okay. Yeah. Right. Sure. Right. It's like, I didn't walk in one today. He's almost like, I walked in was like, I'm going to do this Jim Tomei thing. It's not, it's not how it happened. How would it have come up? Like, Insane. It's like, something yeah. not how it happened. It's uh, funny. The coincidence of it is funny. I'll grant him that. But like, why? What? Right. But you would have to have made me mention Barry Bonds, I guess. Yeah. It would you know what I mean? Yeah. Stupid. It was how stupid. else would we have, we have gotten there? <laughs> He's such a dummy. But anyway, yeah. Are we you little people, big world? Did you, yes or no? No. Nah, did you listen to the show? <laughs> I did. Doesn't mean it's true. No. <laughs> and now. Person. ERC? No. Just very dismissive of him. What do you think of Mick? What do you think of Mick is like the... Like the not host. particularly fiery kind of moving the traffic host. I like that. I think that's what he's Dale Arnold Mick. I think and now you got this asshole for. just trying to cancel people. I don't know what the <laughs> hell is wrong with you. Why would you want to participate in that? That's uh, Nazi Germany from the 1940s. That's the Mick. Yeah. Mick. If Mick were able to from the 1940s, as Mick would say, reel yeah. in some of his craziness mm-hmm. and focus it outward mm-hmm. and be sort of a puppet master, use his rage sure for for good. Right. Instead of evil. For good, yeah. yeah. For a lot of good. <laughs> well, yeah. Yes. yeah. He's doing two shows a week now, he said. Tuesday and Thursday. For us? For yeah. Beyond Average. Oh, yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. What's that? So that's what he says. Got last? That's what he says, yeah. We've heard it before. We've heard it before. <laughs> Maybe it's different this time. May, I, I hope so. <laughs> Look, if you want to do one show a week, two shows a week, whatever. Let, just send them over and we'll put them up. I'm not here to, to jump on anybody. I saw people going, going after John from Scranton because he wasn't able to do something. Uh, uh, no, that show is actually dropping tonight. He fine, said yes, but yesterday he was doing a show with the uh, other Australian Mina fan. The only Australian Mina fan Which, on the Kirk. The Mina drip Mina. from the other show? Show channel. Uh, Commander's old drip co-host? I believe so. I oh, know. my God. Jeff Jackson? <laughs> oh, my God. That guy's still alive? Yeah. Did we kill him off? Well, good. He, he fits the part more, though. He's got the hat on. Good. He says, uh, uh, like, Aussie slang at what the end. Was he a kangaroo or something? You know what they say about Mina fans. You always got to be wearing a hat. Yeah, because he's from Australia? Wait a minute. Are you mean to tell me Menos isn't? Been, I've pictured him with a hat this whole time. Is that not the case? Everything changes, see? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nothing's the same. Oh no, he's not in a kangaroo. <laughs> What's your take on that, Menos? Oh, God damn. <laughs> Come on. And I, I've been sitting on it, and it has probably been the hardest thing I've ever had to sit on. I like serious. Serious Menos does make me laugh. I think. Yeah. I think an underrated one is a. Uh, 
it's essential listening. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like when he's very low key. Like yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah. I would say it's essential listening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do like the heat of the car, too. That is funny. That's sure. a good one. Oh, I think you see the car. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> see, I'm happy to promote him. You see, he hates us, but what can you do? This is just where we're at right now. What else you got, Justin? Uh, I got a couple other things. Okay. Uh, so, Turtle Boy had some like victory. Oh, well, good. Oh. In court. I'm, happy, I'm happy to hear that. And he celebrated that by going on his live stream and doing a battle rap against the person he, he beat. Oh, good. Let's hear it. Whack ass bitch by the name of Kate Peter. Took so many roads she could fill a two liter. Bitch got no talent. That's Turtle Boy? That's Turtle Boy? <laughs> no. That can't be him. It's from his account. Well, that's different. That's not his voice, though. It like looks like it looks like him rapping. When they took him from you, shit a car fall. It said you suck junky dick and drank by a ball. Service plan said just to clean up the house. It said you should sound like him. Maybe it is, yeah. <laughs> wow. Good for him. A decent flow. <laughs> Good bars. That's him. <laughs> I'd pay a, I'd pay a hundred thousand dollars for your Jerry do that. <laughs> well, you know, with uh, uh, auto tune and all well, that sure. kind of stuff yeah. now, you know, you get like an AI. Well, yeah, we could do. Who's that. your guy that always does the AI hack ride stuff? Yeah. We'll have oh, Hackride make one. You can figure that out, I'm sure. So what's going over there at BlindMike.net, by the way? Uh, live stream this Sunday. Uh, all the clips are going up throughout the week, so check those out. Mm -hmm. And uh, I did get good news. Wait a minute. Good news. Ben. Oh, no, no. Good news. Good news. Quincy is going up today. Mm -hmm. Thank God. We mm -hmm. recorded it yesterday. Good. And uh, the Woody Allen episode is also up, and it will be going Ooh, up oh, that's as good. scheduled on nice. Wednesday. Wow. Just you and Craig? Yes. Wow. Well, how long is that episode? Good an hour. Good, I'm looking forward to it. Good, five excellent. That's a good, good one, good. yeah. I, 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 barely, barely, I, like I barely scratch like the him. service on him. I like his movies. You do? Well, okay. I, yeah. Annie Hall's number one for okay. me. Okay. What do you think about him having sex with his stepdaughter? That's we can, we can bad. That. But just more of the... <laughs> That's the, bad. The acting side of Woody Allen. Like I directing, thought, writing. Yeah. I was kicking myself I agree. because I forgot to mention his clarinet and jazz play. Oh, every Monday night. Yeah. He would skip the Oscars. Until he didn't. Until he didn't. One After 9-11. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, a well, weird thing, yes. What's your favorite Woody Allen movie? My favorite Woody Allen movie is... It's weird. I, I, li I actually like the goofier, like the bananas, like the, mm. uh, you know, that take the money and run. Um, I like Manhattan. Although it's weird now, like in Manhattan, he has a relationship with a high school girl. Yeah, well, uh, we talked Meryl about Meryl Hemingway is like in the movie like he's dating her. She's 17, I think. One mm. of the one of the points I brought up is that he says like, you know, everyone thinks like my characters are autobiographical, but it's like I guess like Brando deals with the same thing and I was like, yeah, but <laughs> not exactly. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> 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 also has to write you're them. You're writing them yeah. <laughs> and you're putting yourself in them. It was funny. He dates Meryl Hemingway who's I think she's in high school in the movie. He's in his 40s. And everybody's cool with it in his world. Like his friends, her parents, everyone thinks it's great. Exactly how he would like it, you know? Yeah. How mm. old is he in the movie? Uh, early 40s. Oh. oh. Yeah. 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 Justin, that's wrong, right? That is wrong. Yeah. Well, Damn what's right. He, what's he now? Mid 80s? Probably almost late 80s. Late 80s, at, yeah. At the time, what was the reaction to that, though? Because this is what I, when I, when I did the Charlie Chaplin episode, too, I was kind of like, but no one was saying it. Nobody was saying anything. <laughs> no. Yeah. She was nominated for an Oscar. Uh, it's a, it's a good movie. It looks great. Uh, came out in That's another weird so. element. In like half the interviews I found, he references Charlie Chaplin as one of his I idols. I love Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Got nominated for... Yeah, a bunch of Oscars. Yeah, Jesus. Well, good. Go subscribe, please. Uh, get over there right now. BlindMike.net and BlindMike Project. Thank you. No problem. Steve, what do you have to promote? Promote. Uh, the first consistency podcast. Uh -huh. this week. <laughs> That's a hard one to say. That's a tough one. <laughs> yeah, for the, uh, for the network. The and again. then uh, Mike and the Minute fans on Friday. You're on. I'm wow. on. BA asked me this morning, so wow. nothing better than four days advance <laughs> promotion for that. Episode. That's big. But in the past, I wouldn't. I would decline. I wouldn't go on because of uh, a particular person that you would always be there. So wow. I would. Who's that? Manners. Really? Yeah. A lot of times I wouldn't go on because I knew he would be. You felt he bullied you. A little bit. Yeah. You, well, you saw that interview, but I thought it was an interview, and it turned out to be like this coming down on me thing, and mm -hmm. I was. Did he ever touch you? No. Okay. Do you ever send you things, suggest he wanted to touch you? Or... No, okay. No. Well, I'm we're done. To... We're no. done. You're going to be an asshole. I think we're done. That's fair. No, it That's just fair. it just wasn't until the end, maybe Saturday, that he, he 
messaged me and said, oh, I like what you're doing. If you want to stay. And I'm oh, like, oh that, that see, Mike, he's trying to end. save the. Uh, he tried to end. save. And I was like, nope, that's not the way to go. So you're open if Beanbag Ron and McFuss Daddy want to come to our world, Justin. You're not opposed to that. I've told them multiple times. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan. I like them. Okay. Femme? Femme? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a fan of them. He, he said you're a femme first. Though. Oh, for them, yes. Okay. No joking, Mike. I'm sorry. Very serious guy. I'm very sorry. Very serious guy. That's me. <sighs> what else, Coleman? Uh, you haven't, uh, by the way, can I say? Yeah, good. Uh, I mean, it's really just a privilege to be nominated, but I won a Justin. Oh, oh did you? I was ask about that. Kind of a big deal. Did yeah. I? You won too. Well, oh, I get to show, watch it. The show won too. What did we win? What did we win? You won Best Podcast. Oh, and, wow. What are the nominees? Um... Do we beat the Blind Mike Project? You did, actually, yes. Oh, oh wow. yeah, I guess I was nominated for two. Wow, that's a win. Yeah. Let that one out. The Adam yeah. Freeland, Freeland Show is nominated. Uh, best podcast okay. was the Blind Mike Project, the Great Adam show. Freeland Show, Kirk Manahan Show, winner, uh, the Consistency Podcast. Oh, wow. wow. Steve. Uh, the Escape Pod Podcast, and very good show. What's Escape Pod? I don't know. It's uh, the Escape Pod Podcast is just a stupid uh, podcast. I sometimes oh, like Escape just... Rooms? No, that's <laughs> no, it's, stupid. It's like they talk about... <clears throat> that would be a good no, podcast. No, that's stupid. It got nominated. That would be a good podcast. It's and a good then, nomination for them. And then uh, Best Overall Media, uh, the Kirkman Hand Show also won. Ooh, who yeah. we wow. beat? Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> yep. Uh, the Eras Tour, uh, Resident Evil 4 Remake, uh, the Kirkman Hand Show, which won. Invincible and Guts by Olivia Rodrigo. Wow. So. Wow. <laughs> Music. And it was Jeez. Best Overall Media. Yeah, no, I understood. And then uh, and Mike won Best KMS Third Chair. Uh, Dave Cullinane, Mike Monancy, uh, Steve from Gloucester, Ryan Whitney, uh, a random Minna fan, and Blind Mike. Wow. Ooh, no Montante wow. nomination. No, he, that feels he, like a person. Yeah, falls into, uh, he falls into the a random Minna fan. He, you think so? These were these were these were the top six. Yeah. Who would you vote for if Mike didn't exist? See, I hate that argument. Why? Because it's like because Mike exists. You damn straight, uh, I do. Does he really? <laughs> <laughs> People always say like, oh, You're goddamn okay, right. Who, I do. Okay, he well, does. okay, okay, okay. Who's <laughs> second? Two. Oh, who's Wait, second best? On. Is that you fine? Exist, yes. Do you accept that argument? I do accept that. Okay, Mike exists. <laughs> Justin fighting for my existence. What a fucking hill to die on. <laughs> so, so if Mike wasn't Jesus. on, so who would the be? worst hill of all time? <laughs> I do well, exist. Damn it. People, people I'm feel still like, here. Yeah. People say like, "Oh, who's the best third? Or who's the best third chair last year?" I don't oh. consider I don't consider Mike a third chair because he's part of the show. Right. Okay. Well, like I the didn't. show is me, you, and Mike. This is like this is like the Jordan argument. <laughs> Hold on. No Coleman. And Coleman. And Coleman. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It's like the what? The Jordan. The Jordan or, or LeBron argument where they're like they should probably. The only win Jordan him. I compare Mike to is James Jordan. That's what I would say. I don't know, I don't know that, that reference. It's Jordan's father. But I'm sure father. Okay. 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 Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> You're very Mike to Michael Jordan? I'm Michael Jordan. Correct, but but when they so who would he be? But, Scotty Pippen. You're not. You're not. Scotty Pippen. You're not Michael. Well, who would he be? Luke Longley. You're not Michael Jor <laughs> Jordan. The best Bill Wimmington. Chairs. Hold on. What? In terms of the, <laughs> the room here, <laughs> Jim Paxton. Like who would he be? You're not. You're not Michael Jordan of the best third chairs of the Kirk Minahan show. Okay. Ah. Okay. So then. Okay. I'm saying remove Mike. Okay. Mike doesn't exist. Well, let's do, let's do, let's do that together. Just, Too just, late, pal. We'll get to this exercise <laughs> again. Who's the second best? Uh, like I said, it would have been Michael M Mike Manansky. You're just being nice to him. No, I'm not. He's down. He's going to yeah. kill himself yeah. if he doesn't get it. <laughs> Mike's got a gun to his head right now. <laughs> Can't afford any bullets. <laughs> but, you know. He's trying to make a homemade bullet right now to save four cents. <laughs> The Justins Can, were a big success. Yeah, I get, I get you. I saw a, a good viewership, Justin. I think Congratulations. it would be him, though, right? Him a Cullinane? Would, mm. I like Cullinane when he's on here now. Cullinane is going to be with, very, the, very right, funny. Be with the right guy. Also, I, I did ex explain this as well, but like Cullinane kind of came in late to the game. That's true. I would say... You don't, I don't count Cullinane's uh, producing time. Oh, neither does he. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nobody... <laughs> I don't think anybody... <laughs> uh, I would say... I like Montante. I like Pat Ford. I like Steve. I like the Fawcett. Whitney was nominated. Whitney, I like. Yeah, but he doesn't count, though, right? Why Could not? be a Thursday. I don't think Fawcett fits in. Steve, I like when he's here. That group. There's can't also, think, can't there's think anybody else, really. There can only be six nominees. Okay. So I would nominate. That wasn't true for every category. I would nominate Mike. Uh, that was not, not I would nominate Mike. I'll nominate Mike. I'll nominate Montante. I'll nominate Whitney. I'll nominate the Drip, the Fawcett, and Stephen Gloucester. Wow, the Fawcett getting on there. Yeah. Who else am I nominate? He's been good. I don't think he was on last year though. That's did you problem. nominate? Wait, did you say Blind Mike? Yes. Okay, good. No, I, th <laughs> I think Justin. He exists. I think he had one appearance last year, so he would, oh, he he would okay. qualify. All right. 
Yeah. Um, I'll tell you what I liked about the Justins, though, is he would list like six or seven nominees. It was all six nominees and except Best Movie. Which the I Beauty of Mutt is I twice specifically didn't even mention Mutt there, just not to, and you guys even know this. Oh. But he is going to be so pissed off that he's going to bring it up tomorrow. Well, no, so. I thought I didn't know. I did. Yeah, yeah. Well, you had said Mike. So I. I Mike Geary. Oh, the Blind I Mike Project. The man Manasky. exists. Yes. I, I, I know. No, very no. much exists. Hey, Mike Montante. What's the third best mic on this show? Well, Mick. Fourth best. Oh, Mick. I forgot oh, Mick. I put Mick in there, too. Yeah. Mutt is the fourth. How many mics have we had in this show historically? Gary Montante. Mike Gary, Mike Montante. Mick. Mutt. Mutt. Well, um, yeah, all right. Oh, speaking of mics, by the way, mm -hmm. before I let yet another day pass. Sure. You know who croaked? Oh, uh, yes. Months ago. No. Getro Man. Oh, my God, he did? Yeah. What? What? Yeah, Mike yeah. to me. What? Steve's buddy? Yeah. Why didn't Steve tell me? Apparently, uh, maybe Steve didn't know. I don't know. What was his name? Mike, Mike. Violet. Oh, no. Yeah. He died? Yes. Wow. It took us even longer than Jon Stewart to find out. Wow. Someone said that to me yesterday and was like, hey, this happened like during the producer search, so it probably just got glossed over, but did you know Getro Man died? Beauty of Steve is to be like, oh, yeah, I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. There it is. Do you know how? I'll tell you in a second. Uh, no, I don't. No, I don't have that. This is when he left the station in 2016. Obituary of Mike Violet. Thank you, Justin. Young guy, 65, peacefully. Oh, that's sad. He was a good guy. Yeah, great voice. I actually, I actually went on his show, remember? Yeah. Promoting something. What was it? Uh, Steve wanted me to go maybe on. Maybe the case? Maybe it was. Yeah. Ah, oh, gee. Too bad. Well, at least it was peacefully. His fiance. Good point, uh, Steve. You're right. <laughs> well, when they say suddenly, it's usually a heart attack, right? Or suicide. He died yeah. very loudly. Yeah. He passed away peacefully, but they wouldn't say, like, what do you think he would be doing? Like, causing a ruckus and then dying? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> He's probably pretty you sick. Know, like a movie thing, surrounded by his family. Do we have old Getro Man thing, We Justin? do. Getro Man here. So, I hear you're having some trouble keeping your ad reads compliant. Hold on. With you think they were playing this, like, in the last one, his family was around them or no? <laughs> yeah. His last words. When his like, when his like daughters, you know, his whatever, his fiance. There he goes. His last words. Laws just like, governing for, for a moment of silence, and then you hear "Get Roman here." I was like, I was like, somebody like, like you know, sometimes you hit your phone and something will play for some reason. Yeah. Just, and they just can't turn it off. And the priest is like, I, I have to, like, yeah. I have to finish this. And the niece is like crying. I've been in these situations. They're like, is this, is this Mike? If you're having trouble shooting your goo, <laughs> he just dies right there. That'd be a great way to go out. Oh, that's very sad. Good. Uh, he was a nice guy. Typical product yeah. advertising, Minahan. So let's be clear: Roman wipes are for your cock. You don't eat Roman wipes. You don't put Roman wipes in your ears. Hold on. This is, this is an important. Hold on. By the way, I call this uh, the title. Of this should be called "Scrambling Steve Robinson" <laughs> because he didn't want to tell me that they were bitching about it, but he wanted this thing fixed. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. he went to Mike there. Yeah. And was like, "Hey, look, like Kirk's." The the premise was, I think we talked about this the other day. Roman swipes over this. Yes. Roman wipes yeah. can help you get a boner if you swipe it on your dick. That's Steve. not no. The premise was it would. No, uh, I I know, but I'm saying that's what the that's what I, I, I can tell the story, Justin. That's what it is, though, right? Roman wipes are you swipe them on your penis, right? Yes. Right. What I said was, well, like, I don't know. If you're blind, like Mike, if you swipe, says, we don't know that. Oh, right. I remember that. Right? Yeah, right? Is right, that, right, was right, that Justin right. or no? They don't help you get bonus. They help you not come. I mean, I'm sorry. Help you not come. So that was kind of my premise. Maybe it fixes everything. And they didn't like that because it was medical stuff. So we lost them. Yeah. I don't even think they're uh, Barcelona anymore. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Go ahead, I'm sorry. So. Go ahead, Mike. Don't use Roman wipes for automotive repairs. Roman wipes are not to be used as weapons, and they will not help you with your tennis elbow. Roman wipes are for your cock. <laughs> if you want to have sex longer, if you want your partner... His family to be... began noticing in the middle of 2019 <laughs> that Mike was losing his brain a little bit. He'd be screaming in his recording studio downstairs about cocks and wipes. <laughs> Great set of pipes, though. Oh, good oh. guy, too. Like, got the joke. That's very sad. Yeah. That's not the young... By the way, that guy's in his early 60s doing that. Yeah. Like, yeah. pretty playful guy. Oh, I was surprised when I saw his age. What is this? Little song? Get man, get what the hell? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I remember that one. Yeah. <clears throat> he spent his career... Uh, he was known for his love of music as a DJ for several years. He was like, oh, why, why not? Uh, this is... Jeez, you're not kidding, Mike. This is from... 
He died October. Yeah. Mike Violet uh, passed away peacefully Saturday evening, October 14th, 2023. Surrounded by his family at the Aroostook House of Comfort in Presque Isle, Maine. Presque Isle is oh, wow. not far from uh, Madawaska. Yeah, right. It's high up hmm. there, yeah. That's where I stopped at the mall. And I got uh, maybe he was venturing up there. It's the most depressing mall in America. I Press gotta Kyle see mall. the guys. <laughs> 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 I gotta see Big Ricks before I die. <laughs> Just close your eyes, Mike. It's over. That's his final meal. Uh, he was born on February seventh, nineteen fifty-eight, in Van Buren, Maine, which is up, I think, up around there. Uh, he's survived by his. Uh, he leaves behind his children, Jacob, and his wife, Lindsay Violet, daughter Lauren, uh, his sister. He had a fiance as well. And he had four grandchildren. Oh, this is terrible. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Van Buren's like 20 minutes away from Madawaska. I remember seeing that, yeah. Van Buren. He met his fiance yeah. late in life and her family. He enjoyed decorating cookies at Christmas, watching the grandkids play for the hometown. Four willing through the farmland and playing nightly games. Uh, there you go. Funeral mass was held in November. Ah, that's very sad. In lieu of flowers, family asks that you donate to patient airlift services. Uh, there you go. Patient airlift services or the Aroostook House of Comfort in Prescott, Maine. I will do that. The Aroostook. Uh, House of Comfort, where he was. And what, did very you, sad. what did you say? 65? 65. Uh, My too, other takeaway from young. it was I always thought of him as like a peer of Steve's. Oh, he is. <laughs> yeah. 65. That, that is a peer of Steve's. <laughs> oh, did you tweet that out, Justin, from the show account? That I we did lost? Not, but I will. Uh, that's terrible. Yeah. I didn't know that. Jeez. Anyways, the list of mics that have been on the show. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Time out, time out. The man time is floored by this. Time, time out, time out, time out. But now I'm seeing host of opening drive with Mike Violet on Sports Radio 1160. The score is tweeting things from two hours ago. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, so hey, what the fuck are we doing? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what is going on? Somebody just tweeted me and said, hey, uh, Mikey 1960, the Kirkman Show thinks you have died. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> Can we just go one show without fucking something up? What is it at Mikey nineteen sixty? Oh, Mikey no, V nineteen sixty. No. I did try to clarify. <laughs> this is Mike Violet, host of Opening Drive, which is a show I went on. <laughs> Call eleven sixty to score, would you please? Mike, you're a true moron. You know that. <laughs> So sometimes I forget who I'm dealing with. I said with. the obituary to Justin. I thought he vetted it. <laughs> It's a good point. Nothing okay. obituary says he was on the radio. <laughs> well, then he was a DJ. No, no, it does. Yeah, it says he's a DJ. One thing Mike was known for was love of music. As a DJ for several years, Mike was always ready to entertain and light up a room. All right, that's the fucking DJ right. at weddings. <laughs> you didn't notice you it shithead. when you read it. Why well, yeah. came in and broke the news? <laughs> Damn. Well, I've seen close enough. You talked about Maine and whatnot. I still made $50,000 at a rustic place. Now I feel like an idiot. Well, thank God he's alive, huh? That was really sad. <laughs> We're talking about some other Mike Violet. <laughs> what are the odds of that, though? Another Mike Violet? Yeah. It has to be, right? See, Steve would have told me that. Yeah, I get, but he might have just forgot you knew him, I guess. No, 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 he wouldn't. No, I think he would have, yeah. yeah. Who told you this? Someone on Twitter messaged me and was like, hey, is this the same Mike Violet? And I was like, Maine, but that could be. And then I saw a DJ and I was like, oh, I guess it is How's him. That? Two Mike Violets. Hello? <laughs> Mike just texted me. I don't think this guy is dead. He tweeted me <laughs> last week. <laughs> well, thank God. <laughs> Some other poor sap. But I feel, better, feel bad for the other Mike. Should I, I mean, should I cancel the guy. RIP tweet? Uh, well, it's still sad he died. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> R.I.P. Mike Violet. Yes. Yeah. I mean, the, yeah. the other guy sounded like a great guy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah his family probably. It'd be was. weird if they played those <laughs> things over while he was dying. <laughs> I was like sixty-five. I didn't think he was that old. Well, this guy was nineteen sixty. This is this guy's sixty-two. Oh wow! All right. That, but Steve's friends are like that though. That Mike Violet, same age, Maine DJ. It's not crazy. No, no, not at all. Keep me off the case, season three. <laughs> That's fine. That's R. fine. R.I.P. Michael Violet with the obituary link. Well, uh, I like the obituary feels kind of cruel. Don't you think for like well, his fan? I, 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 I don't know. Tweeting anything is pretty cruel. All right, fine. We'll leave him. <laughs> <laughs> the, the new, the new Justin. Believe. The new Justin. Bot. No, it's fine. Do we have? Are we waiting on hold here or no? Uh, I don't know. They, they picked up and then there's kind of nothing there. But I'll try again. You're an idiot, Mike. <laughs> I don't agree with that. <laughs> but two Mike Violets in the same area, though. I, I don't really... 
It's very Mike's strange. wrong. I will say when you said press guy, I was well, like, Mike is. Mike is. He was there. He's actually wrong, Steve. <laughs> no, thank you, Steve. <laughs> premise, I still might be right. Like he went. He was going down the right path. Get a pulse on this guy. Do we know he's alive? <laughs> Crazy if he died today. <laughs> Turn it up. What are they talking about? This, this is, is the highest it goes. This is as high as it goes. Oh, it is? Yeah. I like that. It make, makes you work. It makes you listen. Make your work to listen. <laughs> hey, we're listening to a private conversation. <laughs> what? It's real? Is the link? <laughs> this is this is the number, yeah. Let's get into the future of Justin Fields. Oh, good. Some good main talk. Let's get into the future of Justin Fields. CBS Sports Radio still exists? Well, there you go. Okay. If Mike Violet's listening or finds out, give us a call. Uh, Hmm? He's on from 7 to 9 a.m. Oh, okay. Oh. Right now is the writer than you show. Nick Wright? Uh, no, it's R E I T E R. Oh, <clears throat> that, not political though. I don't think, right? No, with Justin Fields. Sounds like sports. Well, that's too bad. I mean, it's glad, it's not, but, thank God. I guess, although <laughs> I feel poor schmuck. I feel bad for the other, the other guy. guy. Yeah, yeah the riddance. other guy. She died in October. Yeah. Leaving new. <laughs> well, you got me, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever sent that to me. <laughs> Mike Violet, there he's still tweeting away. Host opening drive, Mike Violet on Sports Radio 1160, The Score, Portland, Maine. Thank God. And tweet, yeah, tweeted two hours ago. I'm not feeling well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Strange. <laughs> Jesus. Well, isn't there a show curse about that, though? Like sometimes you mention somebody and all of a sudden. That's what I'm saying, Steve. Yeah. I hope he's all right yeah. today. Yeah. God. What did you think of Burt Young with that? The other day, wasn't there something about he only got yeah, that little mention? Off the fucking, yeah, yeah, they hated that. They did a terrible That's job brutal. of that. No Treat Williams, who died this year. Mm-hmm. No Burt Young. You know, I was, Why do they always, it seems like they always do a bad job of it. And then they ended, yeah, I agree. Then they ended, like, the, the big movie name every year. This year was Tina Turner. Should have. The uh, fucking Grammys. Yeah, swapped yeah. with Carl Weathers. Sure, or, or William Freakin, the guy directed the fucking French section, The Exorcist. Like, what, what the fuck are we doing here? They have my Tina guy, Turner? Uh, starting off, though. Michael, Michael Gambon. Michael Gambon. Yes. 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 He's your guy. Yeah. Tina Turner. That a great artist. I mean, great singer. But was she ever in anything? She Mad Max Beyond the Thunderdome, right? Well, that's what I'm asking. Yeah, too. that's it. Like, she was. <laughs> yeah. She was like a big movie. No, not yeah. that figure in film. I, that was yeah. weird. Also, Matthew Perry's like TV realistic. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he was, he was, he was he was in some movies. movies. I'm yeah, fine with that. I'm fine with putting him in there. It's a big name. He starred in like he was in a franchise. Like he had a run. Yeah. Not a great run, but they drag out that dumb Andrea Bocelli too. Blind idiot. <laughs> What's wrong with him? What's next, Cole? No, he's like, he's like, oh, <laughs> the middle of the song, he stopped. He's like, oh, somebody send me Mike Violet the news. <laughs> they put Mike Violet in the oh, montage. No. They put him in there. Yeah. <laughs> ah, damn it. So getting back to it, we have Montante. <laughs> Mike's, off my, Mike's off the blind mountain. I Rush really right thought now. Justin was my, I sent it to Justin yesterday, and I was Who like, better? this is my safety net. Sure. <laughs> He'll definitely bring it up. <laughs> well, I didn't want to just tweet it out because I didn't know. You know what? Because I just didn't want to like. Because if he actually did die, I don't know if his family was keeping it personal and just to tweet it out from the show account. Make the it obituary, you mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand that. Jeez. Well, but the good news is he's alive. Thank God. Yeah, that's good. What a what a weight off my shoulders. <laughs> Mike's like oh, that's sixty five. The guy's sixty three. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he was younger. Did I know? That's true. <laughs> Did he has any friends younger than that? <laughs> no chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, there you go. Tommy John, uh, elevate every morning with Tommy John Second Skin Underwear, which you put in your pants can make or break your day, and the luxurious support of Second Skin guarantees everything goes smoothly. When you wear a Tommy John, you're much more comfortable, so you can do anything uh, and everything better. Uh, for silky comfort with a sophisticated style, check out Tommy John's luxurious Second Skin Limited Edition colors now at tommyjohn.com slash Kirk. Over 20 million pairs sold overall at Tommy John. The greatest, most comfortable underwear you'll ever wear in your life that is a guarantee. They're going fast, so hurry to, hurry to TommyJohn.com slash Kirk. TommyJohn.com slash Kirk right now for that limited deal. A limited time only. We thank them, Milton's. We're back tomorrow with Mike and Mutt, correct? Hope so. All right. Steve, anything else from you, from your notes? Any other thoughts? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. You sure? Yep. You're feeling good? Feeling great. When does the Consistency Podcast debut? 
He keeps saying this, this week. I know, but this do you have a, weekend, do you have a, do you have a, I think. This weekend. No one, gotcha. no one gives, like, how does that oh, work? Oh, so direction like, you're saying? Not yet. I just, oh. I, I, I got a text from John from Scranton and okay, we talked, but I don't know when I, you know, who I send it to or anything. He's, a cra- he's addicted I'll to crack, to John. John from Scranton, right? Is that an issue <laughs> I, I, or no? No, not at okay, all. Same with me. He's I'm a good fine. guy. He's, he's a, a very good guy. He's a paisan. I have to like him. He's a paisan. He is, yeah. I didn't know that. Really? BA is too? He is? Yeah. Canadian paisan? What does that mean? That's a first. It is? I don't know. You know Why'd you say it then? You don't think like Canadian and Italian. That's why like, I asked it. He told me his nationality is Italian. What okay. do you want me to do? I, I, Go I'm do research? A, I'm, just <laughs> a, I'm, just, I'm just asking. I don't know. Jesus yeah. Christ. So, you cook anything good lately? No. Not no? really. How's business? Booming. Really? Really good, yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah doing good. Things are yeah. good. Okay. Okay. What are you laughing at, Justin? I'm just... Do, do you like resell socks? I'm still kind of stuck on the, the fact you wear Everything. Chris, Christmas socks. Yeah. Oh, those ones that were came in came through. <laughs> well, no, I was my laundry's piled up. What's, he, what's the weirdest thing you've ever sold? Hair gel. Really? Is, I like hair weird? gel. Uh, you like it? I like selling it because you it's, rub it all over yourself. Yeah. What do you mean? Why, why do you like? You like selling it? I like selling it because <laughs> you buy it for like seven dollars a bottle, and you could sell it for twenty. Really? Yeah. It's a racket. Why are people so dumb? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> and you know when they're the most dumb? Overnight. Oh, they're, well, One, they're, two in the morning. They're they, anxious. Yeah. Uh, just yeah. Drunk and drunk. Yeah. Just take advantage of like old people. It's like when they used to call those. Like, oh, those like QVC. I, it's, I like, hate, it's like I that hate episode of that South Park. Send where us they're, money and we'll send you back money. Like you're an asshole. It's, that guy selling, yeah. the, selling the jewelry. It's like Christmas some mornings. You wake up and you're like, whoa, there we go. I just sold 10 things overnight. You know? So it's like you, you get excited when you wake up and you're like, <laughs> Jesus you go, I just all made money for sleeping. You know? Nice. I don't know if it's for sleeping. With Clement. Clement. Are you down on Clemmer? I, I was down on the stream, not down on him. Overall. Do you know? Do you know Chris or no? Little bit. How do you I, know him? I went to the Back to the Future thing during the. Um, the what? The enough of uh, not enough of both. Week? When he was doing the movie thing. What's the Back to the Future? Me at a thing near me. I went to the Back to the Future one in Salem to like show support for him. Oh, you met him? Yeah, that's so exciting. I I like him overall. I just didn't think that was going to work. That wasn't a good fit. I just think sometimes the bar stool things just aren't good fits for. What are you laughing at, Justin? I'm just let the mic, mic violate thing. It's just fucking <laughs> insane. So awesome. We had like so a us. 15 minute. Oh, you know, playing old, old clips. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. You know, you know who's really going to enjoy it is. I'm glad I did it on a week. Steve's coming. Yeah, Steve's yeah. happy. He's oh, really going to no. enjoy it. Oh yeah, <laughs> they're so close to Madawaska. And, oh, but it's, overall. Oh, I, Mike, Mike Cologne. Somebody. Tw- he's better than Mike go. Manansky too. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes, for sure. Yeah. Oh, that's what the one thing I wanted to say about the Justins was I enjoyed that there would be six nominees and Justin would go. I mean, two of the two or three of these things really could have won. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> why open? shouldn't have been nominated. Why open? <laughs> we should figure out this other Mike Viola and do something for him. I feel bad now. Yeah, yeah, you must have to. Like know. a lovely guy. <laughs> it was his life. Mike fucking Justin reads the obituary. Thinks he's on the radio because a fucking DJ playing at parties. <laughs> I thought that too. When I saw DJ, I was like, oh, there you go. That's all I need. But wouldn't they say he was on the radio in the obituary? I don't know how successful this guy is. I don't know. But, I mean, he, but he had a career. Well, maybe he just glanced over. Let me look. This is like, oh, man, I, there we go. I, like, did, I wasn't really digging into it. Yeah. I saw look. Mike Violet, Maine, DJ. It's got to be him. That was enough, right? If you pass the first That's layer of like, Mike. While working Maine, at the DMV DJ. in Caribou, Mike always looked forward to seeing people from Van Buren. <laughs> I didn't, <laughs> I didn't get his, that far in the... <laughs> you two fucking... Did you even read it, Justin? <laughs> I didn't know. I was going to bring it up. How long was this obituary? Like two pages? No, it's like a nice, like a oh, family okay. day. Yeah. Yeah. As a DJ for several years, Mike was always ready to entertain and light up a room. See? <sighs> Mike always looked forward like to seeing Like a car, for example. Van Buren, as it made his day when they recognized him, he had lots of stories and laughs. It sounds like a guy who speaks for a living. Yeah. Mike, Mike yeah. also yeah. enjoyed quality time with his dog, Bailey, and watching his favorite sports teams on television, especially with some good chicken wings. Sports? Doesn't he do sports radio? <laughs> Wait, that, that's with, in the open. He just like sports. I, Maybe it's a bad obituary. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't give it a lot of thought. If I'm being, honest. I'll take that. Uh, I'll take that loss. Mike loved jamming the word "goo" in the phone calls to the Kirk and <laughs> show. He later accomplished his dream of moving back to the country. Yeah, I'm happy. He lived a nice life. <laughs> and now he's being mocked because Mike and Justin are two idiots. You don't even fucking Jesus. I'll take the blame. I brought I want it. I want to send it to you. That's so funny. some random Twitter account. Do you, do you think they thought it was real? Yes. Yeah, so they I, had to. Uh, I think why? They, they could be fucking with I them. I think they did, but they could have been fucking. The only reason I don't think they were fucking with me is they found an obituary from months ago. You know? Oh, that's true. 
Yeah, that's true. But it isn't a common name. So that's why it's probably like, oh, is, Mike Violet. I'll send it to Mike because it's not a common name. That is that is weird. Like that yeah. is, Mike Violet is a very weird. Well, first of all, let me make sure it's spelled correctly. <laughs> I don't, the radio of Mike Violet is probably not his real name. <laughs> I guess you think Mike Violet's a radio name? I don't know. No. It's like a long name. I, I, the, the fact that Violet's a color. And by the way, Violet is also like one of those like names that could be like an Arusa cat. Like you, know, you have names up there that are Canadian or yeah. whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, okay. That wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. This poor guy. He spent his career serving people in Kennebec County, and now he's being mocked by Justin and Mike. It's it's spelled the same way. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't surprise me. They look like they could be. Are you trying to believe they're the same person? Oh, I think maybe. I'm, I'm not confirming that Mike Violet is not dead. Are you saying it right now, or are you saying we need to dig this body up and do yes. Yeah, we, yeah, I want to see the body. Maybe. That'll we need a while. If we reach out to the family and say, look. This happened today on the show. We need to see the body. Yeah. Will they be offended? I, I say don't it's call them. It's been six months. Let's get it trending nationwide, and they'll call you. Hashtag yeah. dig up the body. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag two mics. <laughs> By the way, this guy's moved up ahead of my, on the mics list on the show. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Mike Gary. Two Mike, Mike Violets. Violets. <laughs> yes, two Mike Violets. Mike Cologne. <laughs> <sighs> we got we to find... Justin, your job today, other than Portland, you got to find somebody in this family who would be one of I want to talk about this guy's life. Okay. And do it like, hey, he seemed like a really good guy, but let's find out if he's actually the other fucking guy. You know what I mean? I feel like, I, I feel like, I feel like my tante, I feel like they're playing something while I was here. Funny yeah. is funny. That's yeah. funny. Uh, <laughs> want to look up? Who said this to you, Mike? Just a random. I've never. I'd, why would you? Just, why, why would you not names? Okay. Mm. I can look up the name if you want. That's okay, it's just a random person. But is he part of this whole thing? You know. I don't know. Someone <laughs> why the widow? Said... Huh? Not the widow. No, 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 it's too soon. Not the widow. No, not the it's widow. Been months. Not the widow. Then who? One of the kids. Okay. And they're adult kids, Justin. <laughs> ha ha ha. ha. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You're fine. No jokes. We get it. This is serious. Now, man's dead. <laughs> <laughs> how can how, how how can we fuck everything up? <laughs> I, just, I have to tell you guys the truth now. Yeah. It's a different John Stewart. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. no. He's fine. Yeah. He's totally fine. He's totally fine. I mean, somebody just hasn't been listening and he called one day. He <laughs> <laughs> doesn't take calls anymore. That's a problem. He's been waiting the whole time. He's been waiting like, for six months. It's like an Andy Kaufman thing. Where That's right. Like, <laughs> they, I think he was also on October Death, wasn't he? John Stewart? He yes. was, yes. Yeah, yeah, late October. What is this? Jeez. I know. Sometimes guys you know or people with the same name <laughs> die in October. <laughs> Work as a bench jeweler at Days Jewish helping young adults with developmental I did not disabilities. Get this far. Mike also created personal connections. This guy's like the nicest guy who ever lived. <laughs> yeah, Wonderful but story. Everyone seems like that in their own What is Skip Bo? Do you know this? Uh, it's a Steve? Car- I've heard him. Oh, okay. He plays yeah, Skip like- Bo with his fiance. Skip Bo, rather. Everyone seems like a saint in their obituary. I think I found his That's son. true. No, but he seems like a genuinely nice guy. Except for that one, yeah, for that one his mom. Is, uh, you see that one that woman wrote about her mom a couple months ago in Michigan? She was a monster. Oh, uh, no. They had to take it down. It was up for a couple of days. Uh, the worst fucking I, person who ever lived. The greatest eulogy ever. I remember uh, seeing the video where it was like some girl saying, like, I'd like to say this and that about my father, but he is a billionaire piece of shit. <laughs> <All right. laughs> <That's laughs> started ra- railing <laughs> well, into That's him. very funny. <laughs> How do you play the game? Skip bow. There it is. Oh, okay. Boy, that looks boring. Hmm. I think Justin might have to play skip bow in one of these contests. Like they were in a room for 100 hours together. <laughs> Can I play it? What is it? I don't really understand it. Who knows? All right, you, is it a card game? Why don't you reach out to somebody here? Yeah, it is. Why don't you reach out to somebody, Justin? And just send a message that'll make sense. Yeah. You know, put the whole thing in perspective. <laughs> Was was your father <laughs> blame, get blame, 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 Mike. blame Mike. Blame Mike. I got it. Yeah, blame Mike. Yeah, just was your just send the I send the clip of Getro me back. Is this your father? <laughs> if he says yes. <laughs> yeah, we, you know we never really knew the identity of Getro. <laughs> That's a good point. That's what he did. Wow. That's a good point. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, <clears throat> well, I'll come back tomorrow. Give another shot. Um, anything else or no? I had that one other clip from what um, is it? Uh, KFC Radio. No, I'm done. Uh, what's that? It was just like 
Portnoy met Trump. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, I don't care. All right. Uh, Steve, thank you. We'll see you soon. Yep. Mike, we'll see you tomorrow. BlindMike.net, Blind Mike Project. The Consistency Podcast will be up at the end of the week. Uh, go check out the Kirk Minahan Show uh, YouTube channel and the uh, the uh, Menners channel as well. I what? I can't reach out. To this, <laughs> this person or fucking why not? Her profile picture is is just was updated recently. It says I love and miss you, Dad. I can't reach out. <laughs> just say hey, we want to confirm. There's been, there's been, been some no, controversy. No, this, is, this is, you want me to do it for you? Honestly, this is what you do. You say hey, I'm a producer of the Kirk Minahan Show. It's a podcast of Barcelona Sports. Recently, we misidentified. We had this guy, Mike Violet, he used to call the show, do this. He's a personality in Maine. Uh, we really liked him. We misidentified him uh, as your father who passed away. Uh, we read his obituary. He seemed like a lovely guy. Would you be willing to come on and just talk to him about him? That's not, is that unreasonable, oh, Mike? That, that works. No, that's that's good. fine. Yeah. That's it. That works. Yeah. I can do that. You can do that. <laughs> yes. I don't want to reach out and be like, just so we're confirming. <laughs> no, 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 no. Mike is, Mike's, Mike's instincts are a little off on this one. I want to talk about your dead dad. Yeah. <laughs> we decided, you say you eventually we'll dig him up at the live show, but this is how you start. Good. Start mm -hmm. by saying, hey, just tell some stories about your dad. As long as we get there eventually. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and then eventually she's on the consent form and dig him up, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Unless he. Well, I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Unless he is Mike Violet. Well, he is Mike Violet. He is. He's yeah. very much Mike Violet. That, would, that we know. And he's not. That's, that is not far from Madawaska. You know that. You know that. Oh no, not that at Van all. Buren, we go. You go right well, through. Well, that, if I saw that, right I, over that the also would have been a red flag to me, maybe. Oh, I don't know. I mean, you could have grown up there. Yeah, not far. You could have grown up there, though, Mike. You just yeah. moved a couple hours south. Like yeah. I'm sure a lot of people moved to like Portland just to get to the, their big city. What's yeah. that, Justin? Just uh, <laughs> you lost it. You lost Only it. this show. You're not asking for you know anything personal. Just hey, if not, no big deal. But he was you know he seemed like a lovely guy. We we would like to talk about him. Ask if anyone in their family is willing to take the reins of Getro Man. <laughs> Again, oh. <laughs> again, always jokes with a this guy. Yeah. A, a man predator. dies. <laughs> we need, we need a successor. Woman here. What's that? Get your woman. She's just crying on the phone. Yeah, the Get poor thing. woman here. <laughs> She's just weeping. Yeah. <laughs> Uncontrollably. And... Uh. Mike, Mike does. Mike, Mike, you should understand what it's like to lose a father. Mike, he never, well, he never had one. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's still He's still kicking. Yeah, well, I suppose. How's he doing? Well, I think. Steve's dad just died. Yeah. Well, in the last year. September twenty fifth. Right? So. So one year coming up. Oh. Yeah, six months coming up. Oh yeah, yeah. right. Your mom's still alive. No. Was it him no, or did you just read? She died of though. cancer and COVID three years ago. Oh okay. Yeah. All so right. I, so you're an orphan. I'm an orphan, like you. Yep. Welcome to the club. Thank you. It's true. Justin soon will be. Okay. What? <laughs> I don't think my parents are close to death. Now, Mike just sent me an email. He sent me a tweet from somebody. I don't want to break some news to you. but Actually, Justin Trudell died. <laughs> this is crazy. Wow. I'm looking at him right now. An obit for Jack Coleman? What somebody named Jack Coleman must have died last year. Jack Coleman died? Oh, yeah. died? Oh, definitely. There's a bunch of Yeah, I'm gonna, I have a feeling I'm going to get a few obituaries over the next couple of days. Uh, William Trudell did die last month. Really? From Iron Mountain. Jesus. Jack E. Jack F. Coleman of Belmont, February 21st. Oh, no. Last year. Don't tell me. <laughs> was he a John though? Those don't count. Uh, I can't. I, I He's can't, a John. I can't yeah. hear the drops of him yet. It's too. It's too. Fresh. Too soon. Too soon. <laughs> oh, Jack David Bo Coleman. Though. This guy I looks see that. great. <laughs> He's an English guy. Ah, oh, he just died too. Had a good life. January. <laughs> see, I bet you Kirk <laughs> Minahan obituary. You're gonna have people wishing for it, but I don't think. It, <laughs> I That's bet definitely you, not a common. Name. You're not gonna find that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't just wonder if I'm the only well, one with that name on. Well, Earth. that would be the same thing if they read one of those obituaries and it had nothing about radio or podcasting. Like you wouldn't like just send that and be like, "Oh, Kirk died." You know, like, I feel like there's not. It's amazing. Anyone. Kirk made an obituary. First one, Peter Minahan. Oh. I'm in it. The second one on Google is being the only kid left out of your dad's obituary is rough, and it's me, Tim Ridgell, and somebody else. We talked about that in the show. I don't know that is. Been, yeah. Obituary, Peter Minahan. Peter Minahan. Well, your mom's getting John M. Yeah, yeah, yeah. John M. Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your mother's really getting the, uh, the boot here. What's this is from the Worcester Telegram. I don't, I don't remember this one. Do you, Justin? Uh, for John Stewart? Oh, it's a it's a comment from uh, once they found out a bunch of people left messages. That's yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Peter Minahan. Peter Minahan. John M. Stewart. Patricia Minahan. There you go. Doctor Dan. Okay. <laughs> is he, is he Kirk with? Minahan. Kirk Minahan. <laughs> then definitely from the show. Case Kirk Minahan. So no, I, am I the only Kirk Minahan on Earth? I uh, I feel there's like, got to be a way to third. The worries from reporting on Aaron Hernandez's sexuality. Jesus Christ. <laughs> there's I feel like anyone five hundred and twenty eight people with the name Kirk. 
Is the name Kirk? Yes. The problem is if you Google the name Kirk Minahan, it's just all me. Right. You're definitely the most famous. Which doesn't mean I'm, you know, I'm not saying I'm fucking. But I feel like anyone with a name, like a common enough name like that, you can't be the only one. Well, I, probably. Well, because according to this website, uh, Minahan, there's only 109 people in the United States with the surname Minahan. I mean, a common enough That's person. impossible. How many people in the United States? Uh, 109. Really? That's what it says. It's got to be just your family. Then. I mean, I guess I was saying I know like 30 of them. So hmm. four. That's weird. Hmm. Maybe this website's not that. It's hidden secrets of the surname Minahan M mystery, the part of you that cannot be explained. Oh. Uh, oh, independent, okay. you take the lead. N, nice, need I say more? I, inspire others to seek your guidance. Work on the, work on the email, Joe. <laughs> All right, we're back tomorrow. I gave you a two and a half hour show today. I don't know how I did it. Do I sound okay or no? You sound fine. Sound yeah, normal to me. Totally yeah. fine. Oh, normal? Yeah. Yeah, oh, totally good. fine. Right. Really? I feel like I'm still a little scratchy. You know? Want some lozenges for tomorrow? <clears throat> All right, so we're back tomorrow with uh, <laughs> Mutt, Mike, Coleman and Justin and pretty excited. Lindsay Violet will be joining Oops, don't us. <laughs> don't do this to me. Yes. Rest in peace, Mike. Yeah. She she might be a little confused, Justin. I think I think she might be a little. Confused. But just do it be very nice, Biggie. He seems like a wonderful guy. We think of well, Mike's point, who knows? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I yeah. don't want to get in bed with a, a bad dude. No, no, no. We don't want to get any jokes though, Justin. The show is not this show is not about, <laughs> not about jokes. No, 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 no. Any final thoughts from you, Steve? No, I'm good Nothing, to go. Nothing, you have no yeah, thoughts. I'm looking forward to Portland, live show. You're going to be there. I'm going to be there. Good. Yep, looking forward going to going on it. stage. Make it. You ready to do the John Cena thing in Portland? Uh, How about a young lady for you in Portland? Want to meet you up with somebody? I'll never say no. Okay. All right. So, okay. let's see. I'll never say no, but... Okay. Well, I'm just saying, you yeah. know, I mean, I could see you with, I don't know, Casey Smith's going to be there. Ooh. Nah, I'm in. Awesome. <laughs> You're in. <laughs> I'm in. Okay. I'm in. You're Sign in. me up. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> Who knows? I could see that, Mike, no? Absolutely. All right. What's that, Coleman? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Oofy maloofy. All right, we'll there talk to you. Goodbye. <laughs>